Hello everyone, welcome in to Chargers TV and round two coverage of the McKay Timber Hobart Chargers Summer League for 2023. Justin Bryan here, Ronnie Riggs joining us momentarily as we get ready to get underway for this one, what should be an interesting contest, Utahs taking on the Gladiators. What's bound to be another exciting contest here. Big thank you to everyone who has tuned in so far. As Ronnie rolls in, we are set to go. How are you, Rigsy? Yeah, very well, thank you, JB. And uh, no, great to have everyone here. We've got a, we'll bring our effects mic up again as well. Too. Oh yeah, we got that in play. Yeah, a lot quieter yep. when we run the effects mic, and it's a two-man operation. Yeah, and there's not as many people up here, JB. So that's a good thing. So <laughs> never a complaint in the house there. Now, no. of course, we do have more interactive graphics. This week, Ronnie, we've, oh, do, yes. we've got the scoreboard fully adjusted. We got our nice yep. trial run last week. Yeah, no, we certainly did, JB, yep. And uh, I think we've got some stats to run with as well later on, Ronnie, so yeah, we'll be no, checking in with them. I was going to say, we've got yeah, a couple of lads here from uh, Bayview who are, who are, uh, having, who a look. are having a look and doing some stats for us. That's fantastic. Of course. And uh, a little bit, no, we'll uh, adjust that a little bit for you, folks. Here we go. As we look to get the links out on socials. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, we'll pump them out. Yeah. yeah. That seems good. Who we got? We got... Utah's have got Nash, Collins, Bruton, Walker, and Carlson. And then for the... Uh, it was Gladiators? Yes, it yes. is the... Uh, no, it's the... Titans. I believe it is the... No, it is the Gladiators. Oh, Gladiators. Boucher, Sack White. Uh, yes, getting into getting into that summer shape, I dare say. Uh, yes, no, and now that's Noah Clark. I think it's Noah Clark over there, or it's Xavier. One, one or the other. Excuse me, Chris Oldham and uh, Michael Clapsis. Yes, good to see some of the older, new blood running around. Really uh, promoting that there. Should be interesting, of course. Cooper and Rumley in the referee stakes. Yes, uh, I think they'll be doing the, the double JB. So, oh, very nice. Uh, Oh, and another week, uh, it's another week of sponsors as well, too, on the live stream it as is. well, we too, do Jeremy. have another sponsor, yes. and it, uh, we'll see that rolling through. We'll get some thoughts up on that one Absolutely. shortly. Absolutely. As ball is in the air, taken oh. away there, as we do confirm <laughs> that one there. We'll work through it. Pretty sure that's the Gladiators. Gladiators taking on Utahs yeah. here. Text line is always open, folks. 8675309. Claps us in the back door. Cut. Couldn't get that to go. Guarded by Bruton. Back to Oldham. Shot, pop, stop, lock, doesn't drop. Rebound by Collins. <laughs> Deflected Sack there White. by White. Carlson on the recovery. It's like picking candy from a baby there, JV. Absolutely there. As we go down the floor, Nash looking to just create something here where he, he had, can. He had a good game too last week, along with Bruton as well, uh, JV. Utah's getting up at a massive overtime win. Speaking of Bruton, didn't get that to go. Oldham now. And what are we expecting out of both... Uh, what have we made so far of the league, Ronnie? I mean, I know we're a week in, but... You know, it's good to see some quality basketball in the summer. As Clap Speaking of, Claps just blows the absolute lolly there. But some running gun stuff from some top quality players. Walker, 45 for three. Back iron, no uh, good. Rebound by Oldham. But what have you made after one week of action, Ronnie? Uh, well, obviously some of the teams were, were down on, on uh, personnel, JB. So it was... But still, all teams were pretty competitive. Now you bring these uh, uh, this different personnel in, it changes the whole game. Uh, can, uh, you know, uh, to a different level. So I expect some good quality basketball here tonight and to make sure that you know, we'll get two rippers of a, ga uh, two rippers of a game he uh, games here tonight. Is that a shot clock violation, I believe? No? No, I think there might have been a bad reset. Uh, reset error. As uh, we do get some more crowd rolling in, Ronnie, of well, course. it wasn't a bad crowd on fr last Friday yeah. night. You know. the, the rate that this league is growing, Ronnie, we've gone from a one-man operation and a mild scoreboard to the full kick caboodle here. We'll be uh, playing at the Doing Entertainment Centre by the end of this. Yeah. Oh, in my state uh, bank arena. Yes, my state. Yes, home of the Tasmanian Check Jumpers, Joe. Of course, they are on the... Silverdome. Silverdome, yes. Be there. 
up in uh, Launceston town there. Of course, State League down here tomorrow night. Absolutely. Make sure you tune in. A couple of blokes doing that that you're pretty yes. familiar with, folks. And that's what we're familiar with as Boucher knocks down that one. Yeah, nice shot by Callum Boucher. And good to see him, you know, really improve his game. You know, he's he's been getting minutes with the Chargers this year. Really try and step up and be... You know, a bit more of a focal point and, you know, great to see him. But Jordan Walker as well, too. Like I say, had a brilliant game last week. Probably he, between him and Bruton were the MVP, really. There's quick play there by Oldham. But with Walker, he's just, he's, made, he's trying to prove a point, you know. We don't know the current situation of the Hobart Chargers. But, he's wanting to shine. But he's wanting to shine and try to get, you know, crack a ro roster spot next season. 5-0 the scoreline here. Might, might give you some NBL One news a little bit later on too, Jovo. Yes, based on the news I think you're going to deliver, you want a spare five-seater with four wheels on Absolutely. It. One second for Bruton. Step back, gets it up in time. Quick release, no good. Rebound, Oldham again having an impact on this one early. It's Clark now has collapses in support, uses him in turn, goes over to White, who wants to put the alley-oop. Many probably call to travel, not there. Another Clark possession there, top of the key. I think, it, I think it's Xavier. I'm pretty sure. They're both the Clark, uh, offensive Chaos foul. Chaos and offensive foul with that off arm. You just can't be doing that. Yeah. It, I think it's Xavier because now it looks like he's in the stands there for the next game. Getting ready for that one there. 5 hour scoreline. You're tuning in to the McKay Team Hobart Chargers Summer League 2023. If only Alex Clark was listening into the live stream and not doing shot clock, he'd tell us. Well, actually, to be fair, last time we did have Alex <laughs> Ronnie, he was listening to us as the towel boy. So yes. we'll see how that one pans out. Mm. Lovely start here, though. Step back Walker from a long way. Collins not afraid to put up a shot. Does. Back iron, no good. Oldham again. Just needs to hit the scoreboard. He's probably been the impact player so far for this team. Clark again. Wanted to go down the lane. Doesn't. Zach White above the break. Wide iron, not getting that to go either. Collins with a rebound. Reasonably stagnant by comparison early here, even though we've got points on the board. Bruton trying to break through. Back iron, can't get that either. And a lot of these players will be familiar as uh, Bruton makes that one there. Score now two to five. We continue to roll along. But Boucher, wanting a give and go action there with Clark. Doesn't use it. Oldham, now on the drive, guarded by Nash. Of course, a lot of these guys play a lot of basketball together. So does Boucher, though. Nails that fade away there. Lovely shot. Yeah, no, nice shot there by Callum Boucher. Just really making sure that, you know, he, um, again, is pivotal in this first part of the quarter here. Nice basket there again from Bruton. Did realise, Ronnie, I do actually have the uh, full widescreen here, so I can commentate this off the off the laptop oh, yes, and do the scores, which is can. sensational. Boucher, step back, front iron, no good. It's Collins with the rebound. Yes, happy to confirm there. It is Swish. That's another one. It is Utah's and the Gladiators. Another one drops there. Seven all our scoreline. We are ticking along very, very nicely. Yes, we certainly are, Joe. Again, good, good pace to start off this game as well, too. And both teams are really being aggressive. And that'll be a blocking foul. Claps has nearly travelled. He'll go the line for two. And, of course, Ronnie, we do have our sponsor of the week. Yes, yes, uh, yes, a uh, great sponsor of the week, yes. We'll get to that one momentarily as player is to the line. Substitutions. All right, just reading text message from the bosses at work. Oh, <laughs> good. Collins and Carlson into the game there as Hartog also selecting his presence into this one. Right. Of course, Daniel Reamer's building, our sponsor of the week. Dan grew up playing basketball and footy in Hobart. Went into an apprenticeship coming out of high school. And once he completed that, began his journey creating his business. He's had a great rate of success with his ability to, de to deliver a polished product. He employs various local apprentices, office staff and builders and generously offers sponsorship to assist the development of local sport. Bit of a tidbit for the fellas in the Absol league, of course. Absolutely. He, he built Josh and Sam Yule's house, which yes. is always a positive review there as oh, well. Oh, my word, he, yeah. So if they're willing to recommend him, then why not? If, if people are interested in building, please reach out. Dan, Daniel at drbuilders.com.au or find Daniel through Instagram or Facebook at Daniel Reamers Builders. Thank you for your support for our broadcast this week. He wa and he wasn't a bad junior player back in his day too, Chavo. I did, um, I did ref him in, in some games where he played for the Mighty Fish. So, um, yeah, no, he's, um, no, he's, and he brought some really good people as well too, you know. Um, Zach Bush, you know, who was a, a top footy player and now playing in the uh, sample. Uh, a very good tradie by hand as well. So Daniel does um, uh, hire some of the best around, around going around, and uh, uh, they they all get the job done done for him. 
So good to have him on board this week. Big thank you to Daniel Reamers Builders. Back iron there, no good again. Just stagnant offensive play by both sides here. Seven apiece. Bruton's going to try and put up another shot. Probably shuffled the feet a little bit there. Got away with it. Couldn't get the jumper to go. Collins battling. Transition now here. It's Collins just with a the bump there. Fairly easy call to make. Of course, you are watching Utah's and the Gladiators here. First of two games. Of course, Swisher taking on the Titans next. Referees Rumley and Cooper, a nice little crowd in, and we trust you're enjoying the broadcast. Boucher on the drive. Kick out pass. Gasset in the corner. Couldn't get that to go. Good to see him getting minutes as well. Down the floor go Utahs, though. They are moving quickly. Walker on the drive, using that looping arm, and he'll go to the line for two, working his way down there. Of course, good to see Chopping and Newitt there as well. Our great friend James, the Cray Fisherman himself. He'd be yes. Happy, happy with the shout-out? Absolutely. No, we, we certainly made sure we gave the Fisherman a great uh, bit of a shout-out last week. I don't think he'd allow us to do anything else. Yeah, that's, that's right. Let's see, is this in next week's roster? It, it is. Of course, you are tuning in to Chargers TV, Ronnie and JB. We are live. Tell you what, Ronnie. Us live on Chargers TV, yeah. very inter could be interesting. It could well be, JB. It's it's uh, it's new and improved. As I mentioned, we do have an NWU show coming up in about a few weeks' time, JB. We'll uh, we'll have to set some time aside to record. We'll just set a time aside to have a a um, have a production meeting. <laughs> yes, that too. One of two goes down there for Utah's on the free throw line. Couldn't get that to go. Battling for rebounds once again. Scores eight to seven. And your rumours builders, our sponsors here. And a nice drive there. Nice response on the other end of the floor. Backwards and forwards, though. Defence optional in this league right now. Good. Yeah. All right. Continuing to pile through. Sorry, sorry for mumbling in the background. <laughs> Still trying to deal with um, a, right. working, a working a uh, working day here, of course. Uh, we all come up our uh, uh, day jobs. It's Time right. out. Oh, thank goodness. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Thank Thank the Lord, Ronnie. <laughs> yes, thank the Lord. <laughs> we are live and we are on a registered YouTube channel. <laughs> it's been a long day, folks. It's been a long day. It's meant to be. Although it is Friday, you know, not so much a family affair, but nonetheless, yeah, sure. here we are. Of course, you are watching Utah's take on the Gladiators right now. Gladiators leading by one, nine to eight. 2023 Summer League here for your Hobart Chargers. Yes, and yes. Massive. Sh um, again, once again, thank you to Daniel Ramirez building as well too. Yes, good yeah. to see him jumping on board. It's uh, Of course, we had Yule Electrical last yeah, week. Yeah, Yule Electrical last week, mate. They, they were fantastic. And uh, great to see Daniel on board. And a shout-out to Dan if you're watching, mate. Hello to you. And uh, great to have you uh, uh, along with us. And, uh, yeah, you, you know, this is great that, that local businesses want to get on board, uh, you know, get on, the, get on, the, get Broad, on the live stream. Broadcasting coverage of the game doesn't uh, happen without our sponsors. The league right. doesn't happen without our sponsors. Absolutely. So we, are, we are very thankful to have received them and have them on board. Yeah. And for some reason we're having... Why does that look like that's dropping in and out? I'm uh, unaware on that one there, Ronnie. We'll work right, on that. We'll work on it. As we see. Yeah, everything seems, appears okay. That's yeah, fine. connected to one device, JB, so. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah, no, the, the stream is live. We're just seeing a bit of a bit of a flash on that one there. I'm not yeah. sure why, but that's okay. We're back in now. And slowly working our way through it. Everything appears okay. Just disregard that Walker one. with the pull-up. Nice jumper there by Walker. Takes the margin now back to one. So we're probably going to see a bit of backwards and forwards throughout this game. Which is not going to be a shock here with the way either, either side plays. There's a long jumper there. Bang! Bottom of the net. Nice shot there. Gladiators in response. Break it out to two once again. And it's continuing to work through. Shout out to everyone tuning in so far. Another jump shot goes up from Walker. No good. Boucher with a rebound. So it's Gassett, Boucher, Collins, Chopping and Newitt. 
Bouch wanting to go down the lane. Do it in the corner. That'll be a reaching foul on the side. It'll be Carlson, Hartog, Bruton, Nash and Walker. Uh, that is Samuel in the, in the building. Ah, I get what that means now. Okay, no worries. What's that mean? All right, we just have an extra uh, new a new guy coming in, coming into work. No, congr- we've got to show him the right. We've got to show him the ropes, Joe. Well done, congratulations. And, and, c- and congratulations well to, to Jackson, Jackson Collins, Collins, who has nailed that <laughs> sensationally well. Good work. It's the accidental ones that seem to uh, turn out the best. Absolutely. Particularly on the basketball court. Scores 15-10. Walker jump shot rattles around no good. Gassett wanting to push the pace now has support. Uses that. Collins, second, third option. Hartog closes out. Did he close out enough? Yes, he did, barely. Rebound by Carlson. Oh, every, oh no, the peanut gallery's arrived, Joe, though. Definitely a peanut gallery. Get oh, out of here, says Zach White. Hello. Vintage Zach White. No, sir. Saved by Gassett. Continuing to push through, and that is going to be way too many steps on the one spot. Too heavy on the isolation. Yeah, certainly had happy feet syndrome. Yeah, absolutely. I think he walked about three mile in that attempt. Yeah, it reminds me of one of my year eight players today at school training, trying to do dance moves out on the basketball court, JB. Yes, and I'm sure that would have highly impressed you, Ronald. No, it did not. My point. <laughs> Minute 45 <laughs> remaining here, first term. Chargers TV tuning in to Summer League here. Utah's just trying to get amongst it. First time we've seen Pete Roby up and about two on the sidelines. He, he's walking deep into it yeah. too, almost a close out. There's another big shot that goes down. Margin back to two once again. Utah's trying to pick it back. Of course, Mark Nash, a Utah's head coach. Yes. There as well. Collins pulls up for three on top of his brother. He said not today. Carlson rides a contact, gets that through. Bruton pushing the pace. Does he want support? Wants to pull up on White. Gets him on the back foot. Nice dump down there. Nice one and two. But there's the Craig Fisherman himself. Yes. That tenacious defensive ability. Collins. Zach White. Oh, Ruben Carlson. I like the effort, but I don't know. Size match up there. Just not in his oh, favour. I was going to say, Zach White's on, definitely on an island out there with him. Oh, 100%. There's no doubt <laughs> that. Continuing through. Collins uses the screen. Nice thread by oh, Bruton. And a good finish. Get that in. Good. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's Friday. But now, yes, and in, in the due interest, as it is a, a paid gig, it is as, so, as sober as they come. 15 <laughs> apiece, Bruton to the line for one. That was, uh, who was that? Who was uh, that Gasset. on? Gasset. Yeah. There we go. The uh, boys there working, working on the stats beautifully. Gladiators now down one after trailing by as much as five just a few moments ago. And this one is slowly ticking along, folks. We trust you're enjoying the coverage. And there's Bruton hustling again. He's nearly saved it. He's got an extra go in him tonight there, Brooklyn He, he certainly has. He's been working hard throughout the week, of course. And he, as, he, as per last week, got home, cut up his highlights straight away and got, oh, him, on, we... got him on the reel. No worries. Thanks Thanks <laughs> for the uh, well, the invoice will be in there. Yes, the uh... invoice will be in the mail. Um, oh, no, Collins has lost the handle. Bruton right. saves it. Cal Bruton uh, chipped in on commentary as well, too, by a text message, uh, JB, which was fantastic. Be fair. Yes, no, the great, the great one was uh, tuning in, which was great to see. Now, Callum Boucher, I think he's actually run to the car to get a new pair of shoes. I think he has. He's going for those lovely pink shoes that he does, um, has rocked throughout the year. Oh, Walker blows by and knew it goes upstairs. So does Collins with a rebound. Gets that, needs to get a shot. That'll be on the baseline. Yeah. That'll be the fourth foul. So 1, 1.7 to go. We'll see how this one unfolds. 1.7 to go. It's going to be a really big, tough shot to get up here. Collins needs to get it in. Deflected. Hartog. Catch and shoot. Couldn't get that to go. And at quarter time, Utahs have rallied. 16-15. And we have a game on our hands. I do apologise. I have actually put that score on the wrong side. That sounds atypical, though. 16-15 quarter time, Ronnie. A very... Uh, backwards and forwards is a way to describe it. Defence not at a premium, but... Uh, yeah... The pace of the game is certainly indicative of what's to what's to come here in the second quarter. Yeah, absolutely. And I feel like, you know, really good fast pace and both teams shooting, being aggressive and really trying to get to the rim. So as, as JB gets stuck in the catering on the other side of the uh, broadcast area, uh, yeah, both teams really pushing it hard. I expect Utah's to make some adjustments uh, along with uh, the, uh, is it the Gladiators? Yes. Yes, okay. 
Yes, I'm getting. Uh, that's going to be a tough part every week <laughs> to work out who's who. But um, just both coaches really just emphasizing a few points down, downstairs or uh, down on down on the floor there. And some of the boys have, have got the stats here with us as well too. Yeah, if, uh, bring them over, lads. Let's let's let's, uh, let's have a look and see what we've let's got. Let's have a look here. So, right, gladiators. Oh, oh, okay, so you, you go, you go, you go first, and I'll go, I'll go next. Easy, we'll go the Utah's boys there. Seven points to Brooklyn Bruton, six to Jordan Walker. Also seeing a couple of steals there for Brooklyn, getting it done on both sides of the ball, running. And Jackson Collins in the way with with six points here, JB. You know, he's two or four from deep at fifty percent, and then Callum Boucher chipping in there with five, and Chris Oldham with uh, with four as well too. So. Uh, looking at the field goals there, it's not too it's not too bad. So they just need to be a little bit more consistent and knocking down those shots. Thanks to the boys there on stats. Tremendous yeah, no, work. Great, great work by the lads there. So that's, that's good that we get real-time stats here. Absolutely. Big shout-out to Daniel Remus as well, our yeah. game day sponsor yes, for absolutely. the week. And Brooklyn Bruton says cash money, thank you. And he's certainly going to build, he's going to build a house, I reckon, for Daniel on that shot there. Well, I'll tell you what, there's no brick and mortar in that jumper. Nothing but margin now at four here. A nice little crowd building once again here. Of course, we had the BTAS Coaches Clinic before it, so a few young yes. athletes hanging around as well. Absolutely. Gassett, was that, that was Clark? Clark. Sorry, that was Clark. Clark. Gassett was under the hoop. Collins, he's got the three above the break. Casual as you like, misses that namesake in his brother for Utahs. And it's good to see a genuine Utahs lineup here. Of course, yes. most of these fellas competed in the... Oh, knew it. As Bruton throwing himself in there. And, and we expect this UTAS team to be, you know, majority of these guys to be around for, for next year's competition as well too, JB. You know, I bumped into Anthony Chesup at, um, uh, at a Jack Jumpers game. Shout too, out to Spud. Yeah, not, not too long ago. And um, the feedback I received, um, just by, from what the understanding was, apparently uh, we, we did well in the commentating ranks, JB. So um, it looks like... Um, what a surprise. A, a, lot, a, a few more, uh, I did say to him, I'd like to, um, love to catch up for him for another meeting and talk a few more uh, things for, for next year. So Bruton makes a second tour at the line. So, but, and I, I believe some night games are coming uh, oh our, our way too for the uh, UBL season as well, JB. A little bit of an insight there into what might happen. Bruton again pushing the pace, bounce pass. Pretty pass. Very nice pass. Walker makes that one there. And now the margin's at eight, so it wasn't much as five there at one point in the negative, but they're now trying to make a run as Clark goes up right in contact. Couldn't get that to go. Walker now on the other side of things. Transition once again. Won the thread to Nash. Knew it, picking the pocket. He's a good defender. Has been for some time now. One, two. Clark upstairs. Makes that to go. I tell you, I tell you what. He, he... They're hitting that ground pretty hard there, Brook, good old Brooklyn. Yeah, and to be fair, it is not a soft surface whatsoever. No. You can certainly feel the vibration of the boards. Walker three, no good. Carlson fighting with White, not taken away. Knew it, wants to thread it. Does. Clark steadies. Has Collins in support. Nearly a trap there for Clark. Gas it now down the floor. Clark wanting to go isolation. Give and go. Good motion offense. Zach White awesome. goes up. That'll be a re that will be a foul on Utaz. And that, and that's better than Zach White right there. Can just provide you with that, you know, good good drive, that good experience, and having a cool, calm head in, in this. What is a very young side as well, too, JB. So great to see Zach out there getting some game time as well too. It was great to see him back with the Chargers this year in in NBL one, um, and good to see him, you know. Taking part in this competition as well too. I think it's fantastic that we're getting. You know, I, I think Ollie Engerstein's going to be up next, so you'd be ready for your uh, famous line, JB. And uh, yeah, now it's good to see some of these senior players um, uh, helping out the the youngsters here because not only this will prove valuable experience, this will also you know really help them go go next level as Brooklyn Bruton from downtown goes next level on Sensational that one. Sensational effort so far here, Brooklyn Bruton. 26-18 our margin, and Ronnie, but the key I think with this league isn't that it's a run and gun, not necessarily that it's a run and gun style, but it's more the fact that it is that mix of young fellas, older players, veteran savvy. As Newark goes up, they went a little too uh, flat on that one there, but it's that mix. So it's not just young guys oh, going... Oh, Collins missing an uh, easy one. It's not just young guys going at it, but it's creating that contact, creating that body, that senior veteran experience. And honestly, probably toughening up some of these younger fellas as well. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, the, the NBL one is always going to lift in physicality. 
So it's really important that these hit outs and the refs letting them play with that physicality is vital going to the next next step. Absolutely. 26-8 in our scoreline. Thanks to Daniel Reamers, Builders. Yes. You are tuning in to round two of the 2023 Hobart Chargers Summer League. Oh, Clark from deep. Of course, we saw the Clark brothers have an absolute day out in the under-22 finals oh, my word. And about now, a month ago. And now they're split up in two separate teams, JB. So, um, the, so it'd be good to see, you know, which one can really go next level. Oh, round wrap as you go, as you like. He's nice gonna, pass there by Bruton. He's going to cut that one. He's going to cut that one up as Collins gets fouled on the play. Very happy with himself. But, um, and no doubt if Cow's tuning in, uh, oh, that's yes. some run and stun and have some fun, young man. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> I tell you what. On cue for us, the, 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 the man himself has, has text, his text message in. Let's see. He, even Cow sent a photo. He goes, we'll read this out while Collins is at the line here for two. He goes, hey, Ronald, Dante is driving me back from Sydney where we're trying to watch the game, but the internet is not being kind. We were able to get the quarter time scores. So there you go. Okay. So maybe we need to bring that round, round front, Jobe. Just to, I don't know, just to have him. Yeah, yeah, so we'll uh, we'll work on a cow. Um, might have to. I can see the stream hasn't dropped. Okay. So yeah, it's holding well, which is good. Yeah. That's Convert at the line there, twenty nine eighteen margin at eleven there. I think the internet's not being kind to them. I think just because they're on the on the road going back to Canberra. Meanwhile, Boucher, really nice, nice play. Gladiators cut it to nine. We um. Still six minutes left here in the second term. I'll just wait for a stoppage and I'll text back to the great man. And Bruton's inside way too easy here. He's just carving the defence yeah, up. Yeah, Brooklyn's just fighting gaps like no tomorrow and really just punishing the uh, defence of the uh, Gladiators team, JB. So right now, Gladiators have to do a better job on the defensive end. Oh, two is inside, though. It collapses with plenty of space. Nearly loses on the tunnel well, there to Collins. Nearly a little bit of one-upsmanship there, JB, just with both defences being absolutely a tad in la elapsing. Bruton's got the hot hand here. Don't be surprised if they start beating him again here in this middle part. Dive down on the floor. Wow. That'll be a foul on Walker. Easy call. And these young men, as you can see, particularly Walker and, and Bruton, Ronnie, they have been working their tail off. And they are in some of the best shape they've ever been in their lives. Yeah, they, oh look, they've been working hard in the, uh, in the off-season. And these games are, are vital to keep that game fitness up, which I think is also crucial as well too. I know that these boys are pretty much living together as well. So getting their routines down right now, working on that same... Same clock as Bruton's taking a charge. Okay, I think that will result in a technical. And it, will. it does. Yeah, because Callum Boucher decided to use the magic words. Yes, provided some feedback, some active feedback there. And the technical there, so easy call. Okay. I've just told Cow to keep tuning in where possible and hopefully the great man... Um... So who's going to take the free throw there? Will that be Walker? Uh, will be Walker taking the technical. Uh, because it was an offensive foul, the last point of play will be a baseline ball. Absolutely, as Boucher heads out after changing those shoes for a disciplinary act there. Walker makes the free throw. Margin now out to 10 again there for you, Taz. And I think in good work by Peter Roby down there as well too. Just That's to just try to, Just to try to calm Cow down. We know Cow at times, his temper is, is a little bit of a short fuse and I feel like Cow's still working on that and trying to make sure that, you know, he gets that, that, that right space that he needs to, you know, keep cool, calm and collected. I have no doubt, again, this will, is a good learning curve for him as far as trying to make sure that, you know, you just got to. Oh, why is Collins on the step back? Yeah, uh, you just got to learn to sometimes just accept the calls and just move on. Can't change the game. That's that's right. So I'm sure Cow will, you know, he'll bounce back. Hopefully, he uses the technical as a bit of motivation to, to get him going. Through sets of hands, Oldham swing pass taken away by Isaac Collins. He's going to run into the Miguel Jordan um, statue that we have downstairs, Ronnie. I was going to say, speaking of Utah's people, is that... Um, that is Kate. That is Kate down there. Glad Kate to the family. Yes, good to see Kate here. And, and repping our Chargers hoodie as well too. Fantastic. Absolutely. Of course, Kate, thank you for the road trip back on the uh, UBL. Oh, yes. There is Clark Nails, say, that one. If that's, one of the that's one of my highlights of the year. That, 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 is. A, that was a very interesting trip, Ronnie. Yes, absolutely it was. Just all about getting caught up in traffic. Oh, 
Some of us managed to sleep through it. Yes. <laughs> Neither of you or I were driving, might I point out. Get out of here, says Clapsus. Yeah. Clapper getting upstairs. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Yep. Dan no. Hartog a little upset with that one. No. Oldham back in. He's had very impactful minutes there, Ronnie. And he certainly has. Like he, you know, Played a glue guy role. For, again, he's found his way into this team as far as yeah, being that role player is concerned. Has really capitalised on it as Gasket couldn't get it to go. Gasset couldn't get that. Looked to be off Utah's. Was. Yeah. And unhappy oh, there. No, sub. <laughs> Substitution, national happy. No, no, one's, no one's ever happy, Chobo. Yes, well, except <laughs> yes, well, except me. I tell you what, a big shout <laughs> out to the takeaway store there for the chicken souvlaki, by the way. That is sensational. Oh, there you go. Very nice. Let's hope, let's hope the sports centre does some kind catering to us tomorrow, Yes, Chobo. we are down at the Kingborough Sports Centre for State League. Round, yes. The only round The only issue, round. Right? <laughs> Limited entries, of course, looking for a bit of a revamp heading into yes. 24. But it should be intense as Bruton. Just a little too edgy on that one there. I was going to say, we'll see some of these players be involved tomorrow. Yeah, no um, doubt we will. But we won't see all of them. Uh, looking forward to uh, Lonnie and Bernie coming down and the BTAS High Performance team. Absolutely. Well. Carlson overplaying defensively. Mark Nash just asking his players to be careful there. Yes, Launceston yeah. Bernie coming down. Bernie defending their men's title. Absolutely, yes. Always good to see I, the I, crew down. I've been advised I could be getting a Bernie hoodie, Joby. Oh, as I see how it is. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> Thanks, Joe and Brad. So it's always important when you need to chat to them. You know, no, no buttering up there. Well, by, by Jove, will I be calling it fair and unbiasedly? Yes. We'll let you call that. We'll let you call that one, Joe. Yeah, you made my war car from D. They've made their bed. They'll line it, and apparently they get a hoodie with it too. No, nice on. shot there by Walker. Shout out to Stu, uh, Stu Rattery for the uh, for the hoodie that he's bringing down tomorrow. Okay, right. I take that back there for Brad and Joe. I understand, Stu. That's a nice little shot there by Aiton. Time out. Aiton shopping, I should say. Ha named ha named after centre, makes that one there. Margin okay. cut to eleven. Speaking of speaking of shopping, shout out to uh, to Pete down there who's watching. It's his birthday today, Joe B. Uh, happy fiftieth, yes. please. <laughs> Good I to see. Apologise, apologise if you're not Pete. <laughs> but, but happy birthday nonetheless. Yes, no, you know, his birthday today. So great to see. Well, what more can you do on your birthday than watch your own son play? Okay. <laughs> So, uh, good to see him here. Of course, Porsche was involved with the coaches' clinic before. So, um, yeah. Uh, but both teams in their timeout huddles. A, big, a massive thank you once again to Daniel Ramirez building. Of course, um, great to have him on board as, as well. And um, like I say, you, you electrical services last week. Daniel Ramirez uh, building this week. Uh, I'm just trying to find some extra information here. I think JB did it. Did it. We'll, we'll give it another plug for out tonight. But I can tell you, Daniel's a, a he's a great guy. Certainly does a fantastic job in, in what he does. I see some of his work down here on the eastern side of Hobart, and he certainly provides um, you know some some great work uh, to, to everyone. And yes, employs various locals. Like I mentioned, he he did employ Sack Bushner, who at the time was playing footy for Clarence and a former junior basketball player as well too. But of course, Sack. Doing bigger and better things in the sample, uh, which is great to see as well too. And yeah, uh, great to have uh, Daniel Ramirez building on board once again here tonight as both teams are coming out to the floor. Chobe still working oh, through catering. How good is a souvlaki run? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm used to eating kebabs and souvlakis on a Friday night, but generally it's uh, not this early in the evening. Yes, yeah, so I was going to say, Chobe, I think it was later hours. <laughs> when was Nash's down low, fights through and manages... Oh, Carlson get upstairs. Well, I don't know what you credit him with, but you do credit it with um, some good work there. Margin at 39. Uh, good Sorry, work. score at 39, margin at 13. Good work by Ruben there just to find that opening and, of course, they just triple-team Nash on that oh. last play as Clark tries to do something acrobatic. Yeah, tried to get away from Hartog. Hartog's trying to clear the lane. Has support and deflected there. Bruton probably very lucky as well. Took a couple of big steps. As we continue. Protect the basket by, by Coach Nash there. Barking out some instructions defensively, JB. Yeah, I think they're sensing the ability to get out on this break again. They've really, there's no real size on the court outside of Hartog. And if he can, he can get that rebound and outlet, that'll make things interesting. Absolutely. Oh, good pick off there by Walker. Now, is Walker confident enough to go himself? He yep. is. A couple of big steps and a nice finish there. Margins at 15 here for Utahs. 
Great start here, and Ronnie, all of a sudden the composure with the pace has really kicked in. Scores have bumped up tremendously for you, Taz, here. Yeah, you know, they're shooting the ball at a good clip. I'll be interested to see what the boys have got for the stats um, at half time for us, but yeah. Again, and now, yeah, good call by Nashi as far as slow us down. Let's run a set here. Just be uh, active in what we do now. Yeah, if there's one thing with Nashi, it's his game awareness. Had it as definitely had it as a player, but certainly has it as a coach. Carlson, Bruton from the car park itself. Ah, count it, count it. He's just in a green. He, he's just in a green patch in the moment. We're, we're, Where's the defence? There yeah. says Mark Nash. Understandable as, on the offence, as, as much my God. As much as coaches you want to celebrate that, you still got to focus on the defensive end and keep getting stops. You just can't let, right now, an 18-point lead slip. So Still 22 point, still twenty-two minutes in the game. Yeah. And, you know, for Coach Nash, it's more about let's get stops, let's really work on our KPIs, especially with this UTAS team, you know, Going into next year for their season, um, starting up, it's really important that they switch on as we've got a timeout here. 44-26, Mark Nash happy with the offense, but he's wanting more out of his defense here. Utah's lead by 18, thanks to Daniel, Daniel Remus, Remus building. building. Thanks to Daniel Remus building, you are tuning in to the 2023 Hobart Chargers Summer League Round 2. And what is a nice little crowd building here at Lorraine on a Friday night. We trust you're enjoying the coverage. Plenty of basketball happening well, right across all weekend, Ronnie. Yes, as, as, as we know, uh, tonight we certainly have the, um, the Summer League here. Tomorrow, all day for you and I, State League. Jack Jumpers tomorrow night and then more State League Sunday. Bound to be a big effort of basketball. And uh, what more could a hoops head want, Ronnie? Oh, this is uh, weekend two of uh, five, I think five for me. Uh, <laughs> last week was primary school championships. Uh, doing some match managing there this week. Yeah, this weekend state league. Next weekend we have the grade three fours with their champion uh, primary school championships. Then of course, the following weekend after that, Gala weekend up in Launceston, which will be yes, JB licking his lips on that one, and um, and then of course we finish off. I finish off with the uh, some regional high school championships. So the month of November, it is chock a block. There are no, no rest for the wicked, I can definitely tell you that, as we'll uh, pan the camera over to where Ruben Carlson will go to line for a couple here. As he, of course, you know, good, good to see Ruben back. Of course, Ruben had a bit of, a, yeah, a bit of an injury uh, throughout earlier in the year, and um, you know, good to see him fighting fit and, and, and back at it. So, and Ruben, a great friend of the program as well, too. Always tuning into our coverage, which is great to see. Nice to see all the players uh, tuning in. We'll have to get some numbers on uh, last week's uh, live stream. Have to check that one out later. You are mm. tuning into round two. 90 seconds remaining here, second quarter. Really stagnant here at the moment for the Gladiators. And they are trying, but Utah's the lines. Get, get out, out of here, here, says Dan Hartog. Oh, I love that throw that he gets going there, Ronnie, too. He gets that buzz right up to that mild flat top. Mm. That is a sensational <laughs> trend. <laughs> Good grief. Pretty sure girlfriend Georgette is in as well. She'll be I'm liking sure. what she sees. Ah, oh, around the world, that might be the only thing that hasn't gone down for Brooklyn Bruton in the first half. Collins saves that second opportunity. Shot clock resets, less than a minute to go. Margin at 18. Carlson, long corner, didn't want to use it. Nice dump down pass. There's Collins. Where's he got? Can Hartog need one more? Ah, oh, pump fake. Stop, pop the shot. But second and third opportunities, what? and here's the defense that's required as Hartog tries to contest. Couldn't get that to go. Margin at 16 now. Nice basket there by the Gladiators, who were just able to wane that off. Nash won't be happy with the second and thirds. There's Bruton, though. Too quick, too strong. Not quite strong enough. Certainly strong enough. Not good enough, I should say. Final 30 seconds here in the first half. Oldham again. Chopping. Kick out. Gas it. Fill down to White. Kick out. Chopping. Wants to go on the drive again. Has a feed. Floats it up nicely. Ooh. Zach White couldn't quite get his hands on that. That'll be out of bounds. And with 13.3, Utahs have a chance. Substitution there. Nash will check in quickly. Clearly looking to run a set. That's a nice first half there by Geordie Walker. Yeah, again, good, continuing good form from last week. And again, he's really upped his game over the last 12 day day months or so, JB. It's been really great to see. Trying to really prove that point of being wanting to be there. Little too much there defensively there from Zach White. 3.2 remaining. That one won't, it won't count. Bruno knocks down that one. That, that will probably cut the, you'll probably cut that one up, I reckon. It won't count, but it was good. <laughs> He's shooting the ball from deep. He's got some range on him. So Bruno here at the line. Of course, as, as we mentioned, of course, Cow 
tuning in as, uh, D of course, his younger son Dante is uh, driving, driving back back with uh, with him to, to Canberra. So hopefully, uh, yeah, Cal, you're still listening, and let, let us know how you, how how, uh, how down Dante's drive, by the way, as well too. Collapses for three will count no good. Half time, 18 points to the margin. Brooklyn Bruton, the difference. 46-28, Ronnie, what more can you say? Yeah, no, a, a good first half by you, Taz. You know, really, you know, come out... Um, they've really come out the aggressors, and they've, they've certainly, um, certainly been wanting it more than what I feel like the Gladiators could. But, you know, I think the Gladiators have had some good looks. They just haven't dropped. So they're, they're certainly doing a good job. Uh, Utah's are certainly doing a good job on the defensive end. To keep them at 28 at halftime is, is a pretty good, pretty good effort, and then to put up 46. You know, we, we usually say if, if most teams can hit the half century by half time, you're pretty much in the box seat uh, to um, to win to win the game. So I'm hoping Gladiators will make some adjustments on the defensive end, get stops, get a bit of scoreboard pressure back on. I'd love to see them just go into some into some press coverage and just see if they can change it up a little bit so we'll we'll certainly see what happens in the second half now i'm now i'm just wondering if the boys have got some numbers there i think uh, jb has got one of the ipads um uh let's let's have a look at the numbers here all right let's have a look at the gladiators and you know right right now it's uh well kevin match leading the way with seven points and then jackson collins with six chris Oldham with six and then xavier ah xavier clark there we go we got it right xavier clark with four and then collapses and chopping both with two. And this, and again, looking at the field goal there and the three-point, let's see, two, seven, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16. 16 three-point attempts, and they've only made three. So they've really got to change up a few things um, uh, in their perimeter game. So, yeah, a bit of work to do, but what do you got for you, Taz, there, Joe? What don't I have for you, Taz, <laughs> Ronnie? They are sensational. They have got, what, three, four, five, six out of uh, 19 long bombs there. So going at a third there, they'll want to lift that a little bit. But we talk about Brooklyn Bruton, 22 points, three steals, grief. two assists dominating there. Jordan Walker, 14 points, one steal, two assists. Isaac Collins as well, five and ten uh Five and what looks to be 14 boards, actually, for Isaac Collins as we get the numbers back to the boys. Thank you very yeah, much. No, this, is, this, is great. this is great service, I reckon, Joe. The boys are working hard on the stats and then bringing it over to us so we can break down a few things. So, sensational. Very nice work there. Isaac Collins with 14 boards. Just an absolute machine right now. Now, to point out, four of those offensive as well, and we talk about it, Ronnie, it's those second-chance points, but it's capitalising on them. And yeah. You're going to look at a margin of 18. It's fair to say they're not struggling in that department. No, certainly not. And um, let's see. Oh, Ayrton's going to inbound this one in down, down, down on floor to start us off. All right, let's see what let's see what Gladiators can do. As I mentioned, they really need to get stops and change up their defense a little bit. I wouldn't mind them just going to a little bit of sign for a couple of minutes too, just to try and change things up, just to get something clicking, JB. Second half, Gladiators trying to punch in and out where they can. Ball movement, cutting, dropping, eight and three, back iron, no good. Collins eating glass for uh, that's well, for dinner at this point. That'll be his 15th board, 11 defensive, away through Carlson, back to Bruton. As we keep on the move here. We trust you're enjoying the coverage here. The McKay Timber Hobart Chargers. Chargers TV and coverage yep. of the Chargers Summer League. I was going to say, our first live stream in about seven years, JB. For our second. We did last week. Oh, yes, we did, yes. But, yes, no. Our, um, well, the only one that we did, well, to be fair, as yes, Hartog yeah. cleans up the mess there, there were others. We just don't have footage of them. <laughs> Correct. 20 we, points of margin now. We won't we won't name that year, but I'll name 2016 was our was our first couple of live streams. And you can actually find that back yes, on the channel. Surprisingly, it is. It's still on there to this day. Boucher misses an easy one there. Clean up there by Hartog, who had the lolly before one. And I was going to say you can see a dunk from Jared Weeks that went in and out. One of the most bizarre things I've seen in my time. People forget that was back when Weeks he had rabbits as Bruton. Absolutely. Bruton saves that one through hands. Collins has an opportunity. Kick out pass. Boucher late close out. Hartog front line no good. Collins wants to turn up. Keeps a step. Carlson again. Kick out. Collins wants to step out and reward his own effort. He's looking for that 2020 play, and that's perfect there. Nash just oh, couldn't finish. Million dollar move, five cent finish. Idea was there. <laughs> I could see Mark just frustrated. The option was there, just couldn't get that off glass. 
Boucher wants the response, gets it. So a five-point swing just off a made basket there by Boucher for the Gladiators. And, that, and that's much better from, from, from Cow as well, too. Just a bit more composed now, really locked in, and gr good to see him knock down a, a three there, just to get his confidence going, JB. Of course, wanting to move through Nash. He'll rue that missed opportunity. It is just that passing and cutting in that misdirection helping Utahs right now. Collins squares up, wanted to go off glass, couldn't get it. Nash, second opportunity. Rebounding very much like his father. Undersized even though he's playing the position. Newark closes out. Bruton cops one in the chops. Six seconds to go. What can he do? Isolation on chopping. Step back. I don't know what Bruton was doing. The legs just weren't communicating. I think he wanted a foul. But chopping very cautious to stay away on that well, one there. I don't think um, I don't think chopping was kind of near didn't, him. Didn't right? touch him. No. It was good awareness by Ayrton. And I think for Brooklyn, he just realised... When that contest didn't come and he's preparing for contact, he hadn't quite adjusted. Yeah, that's, that's right. Margin at 17. This crowd continues to roll in. Of course, being a Friday, Ronnie, I checked on the new feeler sneakers. Oh, there you go. Thank you to our friends at, for that one. Just waited for the right moment. Gassett just took a wee bit of time to get that one off. Collins now. It's probably some of the distance you notice as well. Isaac White puts up a three. Gladiators are on the charge. <laughs> Wait a minute, did you just say Isaac White? Zach White. <laughs> Force of habit. I was going to say, shout out to Isaac, who, might, who won't be watching. She's <laughs> oh, really running? <laughs> really? Isaac White's not tuning into us commentating a basketball game. Uh, we'll to Apologies what? to Zach White, but yes. it was a very beautiful looking it shot. It was. Uh, good to see the veteran getting it done. Signature two as James knew it. Hesitates. Yes. I nearly went on a reverse drive there. Boucher flat his attack. Wouldn't have got over the homework sheet there. No. 48-34. Although, if Isaac White, you are tuning in. <laughs> How are you going? Yeah. Dan Hartog going to put up another three. And rattles home. Rattle. And then gets, then gets position, oh, permission so to leave the house, Sonny. Yes, absolutely. Let Thank me you. finish, will you? <laughs> Still getting over how good that kebab was. Oh, was Sensational. <laughs> oh, in and under, though. Gas it. Deserves points. Doesn't get it. And we're back to our same situation we had in the first yeah. quarter, Ronnie. Running, yeah. a, running yeah. a track meet, but not through the tape. Bo both teams need to sell it down, JB. You've they, got to they run, to, as run much, through as much the as tape. As much as you're trying new commentary lines, <laughs> both teams have got to sell it down. <laughs> got that old Scott Steiner math going in my head at the moment. <laughs> Good grief. And everyone who enjoys <laughs> physical equations. Collins, pump fake, swing inside, feed down. And a nice oh. little one-hand doozy there from Zach White. I was going to say... I oh, Isaac can't do... I know oh, Isaac White can't do that. And I was going to say, Chabot, I found the clip of your... Uh, where you say moment of the year in one of the Chargers games with Jacob Bridges and my boys being at Darren Lockyer's level. I've re-found that clip. Oh, my clip. God, that was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> We're playing that in the end of your show. Was that when you carried on about there not being a dunk? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so good. I'd, I'd, tune I'd, in, tune in to the end of the year show. We will be playing that clip. Oh, God. Of course, if you want to see highlights of the Chargers year, we did put the mega mix up, Ronnie. Oh, we did. A genuine yes. mega mix. Over two hours of footage. Yes, if you, if you don't board on home. Because what else do you and I have to do but to make mega mixes? Yeah, absolutely. 48-36, yes. the scoreboards are correct. I was going to say, we're looking forward to NBL 1 next year. Absolutely, of course. Did we get the sponsor plugged in there, No, right? we'll, wait for, we'll wait for a timeout or we'll might wait for the break. Game, might go game break on that one, I reckon. Yeah, while we're in between games, we'll, we'll, give, it a good, we'll give it a good plug. Half ton is up. Utah's by 14. And a really interesting pass there by Boucher. It's nearly paid off as Collins' hesitation, trying to go through a defence. That elevator just closing the doors. Walker slowing down. Bruton goes up, pops a shot. Back iron, no good. Nash battling again. That'll be Gladiator's ball. Speaking of Nash, Mark is just sitting there. Hands crossed in his lap, not doing much. And again, this is where I feel like, do you burn a timeout or do you try and let the guys try and work it out for themselves? I think at this point, the pace of the game and the, the way both sides are playing... It is, this is a, a learning moment we speak about yeah. where you need to watch Boucher go up here and get two and one. He'll go the line. But it's this moment here where what, what the teams need to do is recognise. Yeah. We're, we're going too quick. We're yeah, not absolutely. scoring. We're scrappy. Slow down. And, you know, it's that self-taught moment in that sense. As Boucher's at the line for an and one, Hartog coming back in. Is that Carlson or Isaac going for a block? It's Isaac going for a break. Carlson's yeah. there. Okay. Let's get everything back onto square here. Boucher trying to turn this round from 11. Nails it. Never looked like missing according to the body language. So this is good. They've only held um, this Gladiator's team only held Utah to four points in this quarter. 
So right now, this is a good attack here by the Gladiators. They just need to keep getting stops and force Utah's in a tougher shot. Walker, corner three, back iron though. Good, ultimate chance for a break. Good read there by Chris, just slowing the game down, waiting for his team to come in. Margin at 11. Wants to go down, feeds to Gassett inside. Who gets that to go? Yep, time Mark out. Nash has finally seen it up. Yep. Thanks to Daniel Reamer's builders, nine points out margin, 50 to 41 here in favour of Utaz. Yeah, and, and really good work by the Gladiators team just to pick this margin back and defensively a much better quarter, really forcing some, some, some interesting shots by Utaz. Um, but also to Utah's probably not hitting the shots they would like. So uh, right now, this game's back on. It really is. So let's see what... Let's hope the timeout here is a good one for Mark Nash because really you're trying to address that, OK, let's just slow it down. Let's just make sure defensively we're, we're, we're committing to our rules and we're committing to what we're doing, uh, what we're doing with our on-ball switches and whatnot. Where really, again, the Gladiators have done a good job of just exploring that back door as well, too, and just getting some easy baskets. So I'm hoping some defensive adjustments here from Utah's. For Daniel Reamers Builders, you are tuning in to the 2023 Hobart Chargers Summer League from the Bahrain Basketball Stadium, where Utah's lead the Gladiators 50 to 41. A nice little crowd in. Of course, we had the BTAS Coaches Clinic here before. Double yes. header here tonight. And as we mentioned, Ronnie, State League all of tomorrow and Sunday. Jack Jumpers on the telly. What more could you want? A sensational action packed weekend of basketball here in Dazzy. Yeah, you're not wrong, JB. It is, uh, yeah, there's, there's plenty happening once again. It's uh, like last week there was a home game down here and, um, you know, and we had the games here. And, you know, this week, State League, Jackie's up north. Yep, what more can you say? A lot going on here. I tell you what, it'll be interesting. These rebound numbers of Isaac Collins. He's just having a bit of a spell on the bench oh, I here. I tell you what, they, they, that's an the Alan Lee Marley type numbers that we're talking about here, JV. Oh, 100%. I mean, even if you want to go even further, Michaela Roof had a 30-plus game yes. this year up north. Uh, absolutely. As well. Hartog now to Walker. Wanting to go to the drive himself, forcing the issue. will go to the line for two. Collins knowing he's just made a bit of contact on the drive there. Mark Nash can just sense something from the, from the Gladiators there as far as they're really making a good run this in the third quarter. And right now, you know, again, it's, it's con you've got to play to your pace. You've got to control your pace. And, and, we, and we don't, as we mentioned, Ronnie, mm. we're not talking pace in the sense of getting up and down the floor. But, look, if you're a team that wants to run and gun, great. But... Read a moment to do it. You don't need to be flat chat. You don't need to run yourself off your legs because the second you do that, that's when the game swings and that's when the other team has control. Absolutely. And we can see the big fe the big fella in your, your mate. And My man. It, your, and Boucher, Boucher takes Boucher. contact and a big Talk drive. Talk about people going upstairs. Boucher went upstairs there as well too. So, And, of course, we have to remember, Ronnie, of course, with Ollie looking to play in this league, It'll be the first real genuine run he's going to get since pre-season, particularly with those uh, injury concerns he had. Well, he went down with injury against Dean on early in the NBL 1, C uh, NBL 1 South season, JB. So this will be a really good test for if he does suit up tonight. Walker gets inside, takes contact, gets that one to go too. For some reason, gives uh, poor old young Gas the old too small. It's quite surprising considering they're sitting next to one another. It's not I ideal in the uh, height stakes. I think that's rookie treatment. Is, uh, it may be rookie treatment. It's a little disrespectful. Could just hold the lead here. Margin at 11. Speaking of disrespectful, that's Bruton unchecked as Gassett gets a rebound there, trying to fight through. And we've got a jump ball there. Jump nice, ball. nice defense. And, of course, it is just for some of these young ones, Ronnie, that we speak about. Um, you know, you look at your Gassets there, probably yep. your Ayrton Chopping as well. You know, these are guys that Absolutely. are wanting to get the next level. Then you've got that mix there with Clapper, and then got with guys, Newey, And then you've Oldham, got guys like Peely over Banana here. Peel. Yeah, Peely, who I, I'd say is very unfortunate not to not to make the final 12 as well too. I do, I do feel for him in that sense and sort of, yeah. Now, the state side. <laughs> It's fine. Okay, he, 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 but I do feel for him as a as a, as, as a There's a game, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> the great man's playing next. We could speak about him then too. All right, well, I'll say my words for him then. He'll be more happy when he hears it on the broadcast. Okay. He, no, can, he can record them and share them to Nana. He could. <laughs> and he's lost total focus now. Not paying any attention. No, good, excellent. That's good. That's what yeah, we want. That's excellent. Good. That's the aim. Love your work, Peely. <laughs> and the fo the fo <laughs> Good. Don't listen to us. It's good to see you, mate. No worries. 
Hello, good, good to see you, mate. We are live. But thank yes, you. we are live. <laughs> thank you for joining us. Sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> stick up for you about your non-selection. Speaking of non-selection, there was no defender there. <laughs> no, there was. Nashi, Nashi <laughs> makes the basket. We did, God, the, it's not that we've gone off the rails. It's there was no train on the tracks. <laughs> My goodness. 56-43. There's Oldham. Old ham sandwich himself nearly loses that one there. 2.40 remaining. Margin at 13. Is Boucher, guarded by Nash, wants to use that size. Give and go there to Gas, who goes inside. Jump up, nice catch and shoot pass. Oh, the fisherman. Nah, oh. bit undersized there. Hartog with the rebound. There's a big unit. Him and Collins bringing that size. Kick out, corner. Collins above the break. Three. Back iron. As Gas has oh. hit the floor hard. You can hear that one for the effects, Mike. Jeez. Good Lord. Now everyone sort of grit and grind your teeth there, but he's back up. Can we check on the floor, please? Yes. Daniel Remus Builders <laughs> might be in for an extra job Absolutely. here, right? Absolutely. Sponsored yes. by a building company to this uh, week. We need carpentry by the sounds with yeah, those. Last week it was electrical. There's the fisherman. Nothing at size at the moment. Boucher wants the big shark there. Couldn't get it. Big battle for the board. What? Bruton coming in late, though. Oldham with a position. You would have to think, yes, gets the priority on the call. Yeah, he does. Uh, but re he, players, are really put, players are really putting their bodies on the line here, JB. Like, good grief. Like, time out taken by the Gladiators. And yeah, I'm glad we've got a time enough, out. They're going to need to get some ice on those bodies. My goodness. Absolutely. absolutely. Brooklyn, Brooklyn Bruton just trying to plead his case there with referee Jordan Cooper as well, too. But just, I, I just, I just don't see. First of the ball. Yeah. Yeah. I can see where Brooklyn's come from. Understandable. But yeah, but it's that, that first one that goes. And, yeah, no. Nah, right, right call you know, there as well, too. So, of course, uh, Peely up next in the next game as well, too. See, he's right, right, next, right next to me here, the, the man himself. Um, and then, well... Oh, uh, hello, Eliza. Uh, Eliza is in the building. Okay, along with Sammy Cooper um, as well. Hello, no hello. Tic no TikToks, please. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, obviously... Uh, Peely's playing for Titans. Yes, good, good. I'm trying to remember. You know, you I'm trying who, to remember these teams. You know what Sorry, that means, yeah. Ronnie? You know what that means? Guess who's on the floor now? The Gladiators. <laughs> Gladiators. Well, that's good. It was one option. You've you've got it. Well done. Don't get me wrong. I like these team names, but I'm just trying. I'm still trying to get my head around that those two. I mean, you, you get you Taz and, and Swisher, right? That that that's simple. But yeah, these two. New names. Those comments are Ronald Riggs and not Justin Yes, Yeah, Bryan. so let's throw the disclaimer in. Yes, the views <laughs> expressed by me are uh, uh, defi me. Definitely will be fair, and I would say <laughs> ex views expressed by me are definitely by me. <laughs> that's, that's right. Yes. So, no, nah, good. Yeah, no, nah, Peely's up next. Of course, I mentioned la in last week's Cabbage Show, but of course, Peely playing up in Launceston under 22 competition as well, too, and doing wonders up there. Of course, you were named in, I think it was, what, was it Team of the Week or whatever. A player of the game, yeah. There's a few, a few. So I saw Gibbo's face up there as well too. But, um, so that league is, uh, we talked that league up a little bit as well. That's um, going uh, gangbusters. How'd you go? You win this week? Oh yeah, good to hear. Ronnie conducting an interview with a bloke who doesn't have a mic. <laughs> oh, we were just <laughs> shock, sensational. Shot goes up. There's a lot going on here. A lot of not much going on here up in the broadcast booth. Thank you to the five people joining us now live. Drive now, Utaz, Nash, loses the handle. Hartog tries another three, doesn't look too bad. Rattles it again, rebound there by Clark. There's another member of the fraternity. Didn't quite make a state team there, went to trials on that one there. Both yes. brothers there. Of course, Jordan Stratzma yes. there in the yellow and black uh, Nikes there. He made the squad. He did make it into the team, JB, So yes. there are quite a number of players here as Old Ham Sandwich. Fresh bread on that one. <laughs> he purely likes that one, I reckon. Fresh bread on that one. Cuts it to 10. <laughs> As Bruton wants to get the response, pump fake draws contact, gets that to go too. Very happy with himself. Yeah, Brooklyn's on a mission right now, JB, and is certainly making a statement. Through there, Oldham. Wants another opportunity, doesn't take it. That's Zach White to Clark. Pulls up the shot, leans into it, can't make it. Chases, gets the recovery. Second opportunity coming through. What's and that? that is going to be a 14 uh, second clock. Okay. Uh, yep. So, right. All right. Thank you, Peely. Great to, have, great to have you up around here. Always good. Thanks to our two security um, who have yep. really helped out on that one. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Great. It's great. Right, no, but with the game right now... Oh, we're back, are we, Ronnie? <laughs> yeah, we, we, yes, we are. Apologies, everyone. With this game right now, it's like it's gone back to 12. So ideally, you'd like to get this back to 10. 
you know, here. So you want a solid possession here uh, if you're gladiators. It's certainly one of these things where I think Utah is very happy and safe with their buffer. Mm. That's nice pass. New it probably could have got that one up, didn't. Uh. Clapper, that one won't count. But it is one of those things, Ronnie, where they built that margin, really got it out, changed the pace of the game. And you can afford to experiment a little bit when your margin yeah. just does change like that, but it's not always something you want to run the risk of. No, certainly not. And, you know, right now, Utah's here, again, Utah's just want to slow this one down and try not to get into a track meet here on this play. Eight seconds to go. Short yeah. corner, Carlson, pump fake, straightens up, nails the back of the ring. There's Isaac White, no one to really feed to. Oldham needs to put up a prayer, does. Oh, and at three-quarter time, margin is at 12. 58-46, Utah's holding that buffer after that big lead, but the Gladiators slowly but steadily pegging at it, Ronnie. But did they do enough in that third term? Uh, you would say, I think you would say yes. As Speaking we, of Gladiators, yeah, there are the a, numbers. Yeah, and right now, let's have a look here. So, yeah, Callum's really, you know, stepped up in the scoring department there with 18. Uh, right now has, what have we got, six, re, six rebounds. And it's been a mixed spread of the rebounds as well, too, there. You can see, uh, what do we sack White up to six now. Uh, Gasset up to five. Uh, and then there's a couple of us chipping in with a couple there. So, but again, the shooting percentages, though, I, I look at that right now. I'm just trying to, here we go. Shooting percentages. So 19 of, uh, the field goal now, 19 of 54 attempts. And that's, really, that's not the greatest of shooting by Galadiotis. And then six of 28 from deep. Uh, not ideal no. either. On the other side of things yeah. there for you, Taz, Ronnie. Bruton still leading the way. 24 with four steals. 20 points for Walker with two assists. 17 rebounds now for Isaac Collins. Looks like double-digit rebounds as well for Ruben Carlson as we look to get the fourth quarter underway here. Daniel Reams Builders, our sponsors on game night. Round two of the 2023 Hobart Chargers Summer League as Mr. Ferguson, Will I Am himself, heads in. And Beck Rumley is refereeing. Yeah. With a smile on her face, which is what we love to see. I think she might have heard us down there, Joe. Oh, I know. <laughs> yep, that's a nod. I know. Not that we got that on camera, folks, never but had she nodded. We've never had a broadcast rejected. We've got a chance right now. <laughs> Jeez, what if we... Oh, no, let's not do that. Let's not run the risk, Ronnie. Yep, no, no, no. Someone's got to cover the game. That's, that's right. And based on your interviews, uh, the interviews <laughs> off the camera at the moment, it won't be you. <laughs> of course. Knew it from the corner. Now, he's nearly banked that in. A ham sandwich has gone for the rebound. Couldn't get that to go. Knew it's managed to chase up the scraps. Flip over now to White. Fourth quarter underway, 58-46. The Gladiators look to make a run. Zach White inside. Goes the kick-out pass, rides a contact. Bruton up and down the floor. He's got support. Goes himself anyway, was stripped. As Clapper wanted that one there, couldn't quite get it to go. Walker putting it to the floor here, Joe. Oh, just answering the text yeah. line, Ronnie. Yeah, that's all right. Nash from deep. We have some lovely viewers, as always. Oh, that's always good. Glad they're enjoying the coverage. Ah, uh, sensational. Bruin getting busy here. Good kick out pass, and then uh, Nash was out of bounds. And that happened last week as well, too, JB. Players just getting caught out on that corner, uh, the short corner there, and then it caused themselves to go out of bounds with their foot. So, again, the players just have to. Remember to understand where they are on the floor and what they're doing with that foot. Corner now, off. knew it. The fisherman. Couldn't get that to go. No stranger to the yellow light blue or the blue uniforms. Correct. Nice drive there by Clapsis. Margin now at 10. So can the Gladiators start to continue to make a run? We will see. Still eight and a bit to go here. Bruton wanting to go himself. Collins with a thousand rebounds almost. Carlson with double digits as well. As Bruton goes up, rides contact. Around the world gets that to go. Very he, happy he with his wanted, efforts he, again. He wanted an one play there, JB. He's not happy about that one. He still gets two points regardless, though. We'll just need to be careful with those emotions. As Clapsis goes for contact, couldn't get it to go. Bruton working overtime on that break. Nash getting across the halfway line. Wants to go himself. Does Carlson catch underneath. Could have gone straight up and under. Does it? Walker, three. Couldn't get that to go either. He missed easy two there, I would feel. Carlson yeah. just not quite aware. Just straight up over the scone would have made two points. And I think, you know, Carlson's first game back as well too. So he'll, he's still trying to get used to the fellas here as far as just that familiarity is concerned. Would have been the old, um, would have been the lemonade scones too. A really easy yeah. mix. No need for the baking soda indeed. Bruton, corner, Walker, three. Side iron, no Walker's good. Walker's been, you know, Walker was red hot last week. It's just been a bit cold here tonight. 
genuinely just throwing stones left, right and centre right now. Knew it. Clark, again another contender for the state team, didn't quite get there as Isaac White attacks the body of Isaac Collins. Zach White, Zach White. Zach White against Collins. Either way, gladiators get two. I apologise. The chairman of the board's just doing his thing nicely there, JB. And, uh, you know, again, good. I say Collins a tough matchup for him on that. Drive there by Walker. They're wanting to get inside, but they're still looking at attack from deep as Nash couldn't get that to go. Carlson, another opportunity. Floats over to Collins. As Bruton looking to slow down. Double stagger screen there if he wants to use it. Tries to get the isolation on Oldham. Does. Five seconds to go to work. What's he want to do? Pull up. Jumper. Three. Not quite warm enough anymore. And Isaac Collins is going to get an easy feed on the rebound. Second opportunity. Bruton. He's got that isolation again. What can he do? He's cooking each over. Very hesitant. Mark Nash not very impressed though, I don't think. Walker couldn't get that to go. Carlson. Finally an up and under. An easy attack at the rim. And they're going to the line for two. Yeah, and I think you're right there, JB. Mark Nash, Nash is sick of the isolation. Yeah, he wants ball movement. This he... isn't COVID. We don't need to socially distance. No. Yeah, Move they, the ball. They need a bit, They just need to get back. I feel they just need to get back into a little bit of structure. Move that ball, get to the second side, try and play. Or, or you either trying to play off on balls then and really try and attack the rim or look for a really good shot. You know. So I feel that, yeah, and Mark the, Nash is not, uh, not happy one bit. Well, especially too, when you see Carlson there had two or three opportunities and the one time he went up hard with it, mm. gets rewarded. Absolutely. Yeah, and that, that was great work by Ruben. Right place, right time. And... Um, Charlotte Collins tuning in from London as well too, Joe Bate. Oh, good to hear Charlotte is on the line. We hope you're doing well. Yes, uh, if you could send me through payment, that would be lovely, Charlotte. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Jeez. She knows, don't worry. It's all, it's all right. Again, the thoughts and views expressed of Ronald, uh, those uh, old Ronald uh, Riggs and yes, not that right, of Justin Richard. Bryan. <laughs> That's correct. Or JB, which whoever you want to call me. You can call that money, though. Walker, Absolutely. Walker no, nails the shot, shot there. Margin back to 13. And you just see Pete Roby just trying to deliver some messages there to that young bench. Yeah. And I think that, again, that's really good coaching by Pete. Like I say, we haven't seen Pete do a lot of coaching at this level um, because he's been more supporting things as they uh, put back there by, uh, was that Oldham? Yeah, Oldham yep. getting that to go off the thread there. Actually a thread, I do believe, there. Yeah, so I feel like for, for Pete, this is, go, this is good that he's back in the coaching ranks and really trying to, you know, really share some wisdom of his. To the team. Absolutely. Of course, Pete having played up to a reasonable level as well today. Uh, the thoughts and views <laughs> expressed by Ronald Riggs are those of Ronald Riggs <laughs> and not that of Justin Bryan. <laughs> but, no, Joy, you know, um, but no, Jordan also tells me that, you know, Phoenix is really adapting well to the style of play over there. And, you know, again, working hard as ever. So if Phoenix is tuning in, hello to you and disregard my previous comments. Oh, it's nice to, nice to be back nice to be back, back together again yeah, after a week off. Joe, nothing but. like our irreverent selves running. Yes. Stadler and Waldorf up top here at the uh, Warren <laughs> Stadium. Nice no look there. And that's going to be a yeah. couple of extra steps by about, by um, uh, Chopping? No. No, that was by Nash. Nash. Sorry. Apologies, ladies yes. and gentlemen. And Mark, speaking of Nash, Mark Nash is not happy. He is wanting ball movement left, right, yeah. and centre. He'd be, have to be happy with Carlson, who is getting those boards and those second, third opportunities. But right now, cannot be impressed with how stagnant that offence has been. And you feel like, too, JB, Utah has got to treat this like a preseason. 100%. They have to. Knowing that what they're up against coming coming up in you know next year, they really need to fine-tune what they're going to do. And over these next you know five, five, to, five to six weeks, they have to get themselves in check uh, in how they run this tough. Of course, heading right through to the middle of December is this league, so still plenty of basketball to come. Bruton on the drive, weaves his way through. Nice finish there. Says hello to uh, Michael Clapsis, who I could imagine would uh, treat that like water off a duck's back. Yeah, pretty much. Boucher with the response. But yeah, nice big athletic finish there by Cal Boucher. And again, just this margin's just ticking away, Ronnie. It's, it's, it's stagnant a little bit. It feels like that 10-point barrier is that little hump we talk about. Good but cut. they're still trying to work through with it. 
Yeah, it is. As long as you test maintain this. Oh, well, Dan well, Hartog gets you. it to go. Jeez, Dan Hartog with some advice for Fletcher Rose well, and Alex uh, Bestwick. It's really strange that Dan would be blowing kisses to uh, Dan mm. and Alex while George Ett's down on the phone, the girlfriend, uh, not paying any attention. Yes, interesting. Boucher got fouled on the play there, so he'll go to the line for a couple. Speaking of uh, the Hartogs, if Steve isn't in, I hope he is tuning in from home. One of my highly valued and sought senior referees down on a Monday and Thursday night. Well, hope there you go, JB. Hope you're enjoying the coverage there. Margin at 14. Boucher looking to make it 12 again. Gets that to go. For Daniel Remus Builders, you are tuning in to the 2023 Hobart Chargers Summer League. Gladiators and Swisher on the air right now. Margin is at 12. Chocolate for a walking past, JB. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. <laughs> Thanks, Ronnie. <laughs> Before I give him a shout, we better give his business a shout out as well, too. Yes, no, photographer yeah. working very, very yeah. hard here. Collins now has a break, just hesitant a little bit. Chance to make it 10 points, that little hump we speak about. Kick it there, chopping. Almost got away with a carry. Flicks one up, can't get that to go. Rebound by Collins, drops that off to Bruton. Three minutes or so remaining here in the fourth quarter. Ticking along here, first of two games this evening. Let's see what we can get moving as well. Collins wants to get inside. Had another bit of ball movement, said Walker. Better not, he says, because I can just get that to rattle home. Reasonably happy with himself. <laughs> He'll take it, I reckon, Jova. I don't hear the great man disagreeing. No, certainly not. 71.56. Margins back to 15. I reckon that's yibbity yibbity on that yeah, one, Yeah, I, I think so, JB. As the uh, phone started blowing smoke there. Oh, I was going to say, no, no, phone's charged at 100%. Charged that to 105, I'd say, Ronnie. He's dropped that out to Clapsus. And what have we got here? A technical on Bruton. Bruton has been going all night. So, well, you know, I think enough, enough was enough, I guess, from the referees, JB. And as Boucher would take the technical free throw. Technical foul there, Brooklyn Bruton. But don't get me wrong, Bruins had a really good game. He just feels he just aggrieved, feels aggrieved on on some of the on some of those takes to the basket where he's getting some contact. I think. Oh, hello. We've preempted apologies on the scoreboard. Preempted that make there. Um, I think the hard thing too, Ronnie, and we talk about this all the time. If you are a player that's driving hard and forcing contact, mm. not always going to be the uh, easiest of calls to get. No, certainly not. And again, you just got to learn. Oh, I thought that's Boucher. Oh. I thought Boucher was going to try and. Turn that over and dunk it. Collins straight up. Is Bruton saying hello again? Man. Yeah, no, and Bruton's had a really good game. MVP as far as I'm concerned for tonight, Joba. Yeah, absolutely. Set the tone there in that second term. Really yeah. blew the scoring open after a stagnant start. Boucher stepped back. No good. It's Nash fighting for it. Gassett's there. Nuance he's it. done a really good job he's tonight, Joba. He's worked into the game there, young, young Gassett, of course. Just a bit younger, a little less experienced than some of these guys, Ronnie, and they're all sort of starting to get to this level, but he's starting to find his way. Yeah, he is. And, uh, again, getting this experience at this level is, is a good thing. Oh, no, look, easy as you like down the lane. Collins at the... Uh, yeah, great job by Isaac there, just slipping under nicely and getting and rewarding himself with a two. And it's just that easy open basket with the way that players are trying to stretch the floor, Ronnie, makes it a lot easier. Ball through sets of hands now. Collins above the break. Woo! Checo from deep. Nails that one there. 61-75. You'd say a little too late. In the final 90 seconds of this one. Margin at 14. Of course, coming up next, Titans versus Chargers. Sorry. Swisher. Swisher. My apologies. Chargers lead. Yes. Come on, Justin. Dan Hartog gets the easy two, and Georgette has the eyes up for that one. She's proud of her man. Yeah, absolutely. Good to see. She makes that one. 77-61, minute 13 remaining here in the last turn. Boucher, thread, Gasset, long two. Couldn't get that to go. Bruton with more numbers and he's still pushing the pace. We'll certainly get the, mate, the final numbers from the boys uh, shortly, Jobo. As Bruton just drops through a little bit of space and throws the two little oh. as well. Things are just getting, mm, I don't know, Ronnie. Some, you know, sometimes winning should be enough. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I, again, you just want to make sure you, again, respect your opponents and respect the game. So, yeah. And Rode him way on the hip there, Walker. Was always going to be, was always probably going to get called for that one there. Don't get, don't get, don't get me wrong. I mean, you gotta, you got to let as Boucher and, and uh, Bruden have, have, have a meeting down there. Um, you know, 
I just feel like at, at, at times, and this is starting to creep into to the uh, younger age groups as well too, we just can't, you know, you, you just got to learn to control. Sometimes con- winning control should be enough, emotion. Ronnie. Yeah, and absolutely. Like, you're, you're up by 17 right now with under a minute to go. I don't think there's any point of doing it. I mean, if there were, you know, it's just like, you know, just let your basketball do the talking. You know, that was my, you know, that was some advice I gave to some players last night down here at Bahrain, and they certainly took it on board. Bruton loses the handle. Hartog recovers. Needs to find a friend. Does. That friend is Bruton. Has to have a 30-piece now, you would think. Final 25 seconds. Bruton wanting the hesitation. Gets it. Over. Knew it. My goodness. It went round the rim and out. Collins there wanting to push. Goes to Gassett, who has an open lane. Goes up strong. Ruben Gassett just finishing nicely here. Having a good end of a game. Probably just taking some time to work his way into it. And that is all this one. Yeah, they're going to this one out, I think. Yep. Yeah, that should do. No, I don't know. Oh. It's a lot deep. And it's going to count. It's going to be 80. Yeah. It's going to be 82 65. Margin is 17 off that bank shot from Bruton. Final scores 82 65 as the Gladiators and Utahs take one another to oh, the town. Bo- and the bo- look boys at the are straight boy. on the numbers. Look at this. <laughs> Sensational. Better than, uh, what's that official? <laughs> Who's the official stat taker of the AFL? Who's? Um, I can't think of Champion you. data. <laughs> Better than champion <laughs> data. Can't. I'll tell you what, though, Ronnie. We mentioned champions there. Brooklyn Bruton, albeit with uh, some interesting finish to that game. 35 points, four steals, three assists. Nailed four of 14 from deep. And uh, had a really nice game himself. Isaac Collins finished with 7 points, 20 rebounds. Big game for him there. 25 points as well to Jordan Walker with the two assists. Ronnie? Uh, yeah, for Gladiators, Colin Boucher led the way with 22 points, 6 rebounds. And throwing 3 assists as well too. Uh, Jackson Collins had 11 points with 5 assists as well. And then um, Chris Oldham with 11 points there. And... Let's see, three assists as well, two. So, but looking at the looking at the percentages here, JB as well, two gladiators, 77 attempts in the field goal area, Jeez. only making 26. Yeah. And then 35. So really, you, 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 your number, your shooting clip has to be a little bit more better than that. And really, um, oh, really, really, yes. Um, so I feel that you know gladiators are going to have to turn a corner next week and really try to make sure that they you know, shoot the ball at a better clip there as well too. And then on the rebounding count, well, let's see, 37 rebounds for the entire game. Which is going to be very hard to compete against when almost two yeah. people on the opposition get 37 as a- well. Absolu- absolutely. So let's see here the text line. <laughs> As everyone's coming through. Everyone's come through. Even, even Charlotte's coming through. A big thank you to Charlotte. Charlotte. Yes, no, we're... Um, Spend yeah. that extra dollar you're meant to give Ronnie, Charlotte. <laughs> Get yourself a cuppa and some scones and some sandwiches or some fish and chips and mashed peas, I think, is the Abs- uh, order of the day. Ab- absolutely. We hope it's a beautiful day down in London, down there, where she where she's uh, still recovering and... Uh, and what not is uh, referee Jordan Cooper gives us a smile, but you'll uh, make no further comment on that. So, tell um, you what, Ronnie, we might take a break here. We've got ten minutes before our next game. Final score. Now we've just got conf- yeah. we've got confirmation. Eighty-two sixty-five. Utahs yeah. beating the Gladiators. There, of course, it'll be Swisher versus the Titans next up. We'll take a quick break and then we'll come back with our second game right after this for. Who's our man, Ronnie? Daniel Remus Builders. That's right, JB. Daniel Remus Builders, you are tuning in to round two of the 2023 Hobart Chargers Summer League live from the Bahrain Stadium.
Round, let me go, there we go. That gives us a bit more volume there, ladies and gentlemen. Round two of the Hobart Chargers Summer League as Swisher and the Titans look to take on one another. First game wrapping up as Utah's beat the Gladiators. Of course, Brooklyn Bruton leading the way there. Is he still here? Uh, no, I think they've made it. Oh, yes, he is down just to chatting, chatting with the fellas there. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, there he is. Yes, uh, good to see. Right, and, uh, and we have no doubt that he'll, uh, he'll watch the replay and start cutting up things straight away. Absolutely again, no doubt invoice about that. will be in the mail. The young Brook Brooklyn. Of course, you are tuning in here. Thanks to Daniel Reamer's Builders. Yes, you know, good job by, by Dan and the team there to jump on board this week. Big thank you there. Of course, Anthony Stewart coaching here and Jeremy Hill. Yeah, so we... I, I, I mentioned about this last week, JB, of course, the, the future of Anthony Stewart and... You know, where he lies. This, I was going to say, this Hobart. isn't a demise. Stewie is actually alive and well, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. I need to clear, clarify yeah. that. Yeah, no, no, he's in good spirits. But wherever his coaching tenure at the Chargers is, seems to be you know, like his three-year contract's done and, and whatnot. It's going to be interesting to see over the next month or so what decisions he makes going forward. And will we have uh, a new era? Broadcast is ready to go, Jordan Cooper. As we confirm that. And, of course, yeah. confirming as well, Ronnie, while you are tuning into the men's, Women's competition starting on Monday as well here at the Lorraine yes, Stadium. Where we could be streaming. We might. We, we will know more about that know. later on. Yeah, so I was going to say, you, did, you were chatting down there with Matt Hargrave. I so. was more getting confirmation the fixture is up and live. So there, oh, yes, uh, of course. There will be a women's comp as well. And we'll make sure we try and work out where we where people people may ask and where the stats might be might be able to be found as well too. So we'll, we'll get we'll get on to uh, Josh Yule about that as well too. Absolutely. Where, where I reckon we'll, be get, reckon we'll be getting post-game wraps on that. Nothing live for those that are Yes. No, no live stats, unfortunately, but more the fact of we'll try and get a, even if we have to take a photo of it, we'll, um, we'll have to send it to you. As we are underway here for our second game. You can do the, do you can do the double this week, Joe Get the double, give you a break there, Ronnie. Yes, I was going to say, we've got a big day tomorrow and Sunday. Swisher versus Titans. And we'll see who gets on the board here first. As that one goes down, I dare say, Ronnie, that would be the uh, Swisher uniforms, that, that would be the... Swisher team there with the first two. Yeah, absolutely. And good to see Geordie Strassman knocking down one. Here. And he'd be pretty wrapped with his uh, selection with the state under 20 side. Yes, into the state under 20 side there. Titans fighting through. Josh Yule, that is a big human. Yes, as I mentioned last week, still those arms are like Hulkamania. They are genuine Hulkamania. Couldn't get that to go. Speaking of mania, that's what it is under the boards. Griffiths now clears. Griffiths, Ferguson, Stewart, Stratma. And Hargrave, as Griffiths goes on the drive against BJ Radcliffe, and he gets that to go. 4 0 start. And, uh, uh, you know, Harry, you know, just a uh, man that just goes about his way uh, very quietly, JB. And great to see him get some early points here. Of course, as we mentioned there, Ronnie, Women's League as well starting Monday. I can tell you now, first games, Swisher will take on Utah's at eight in the main event as Yule misses that one. Interesting uh, for the team names there in our first game. Real fit versus the Sweaty Bettys. So, bound to be a very interesting contest there Jeez at 6.30. Lord. Jeez Louise. We've got Titans, we've got Gladiators, we've got Real Fit, and we've got Sweaty Bettys. <laughs> it just doesn't sound right. Nice start there. 4 0, speaking of to Swisher. Hargrave takes the three. Can't get that to go. Contested by Liam Smith. Nice save there. Shot Stratsmo three. Count the assist to Stewart. 7 0 start here. Yeah, no, and Anthony Shaw will be quite pleased with his start as well, too. They were in a tight tussle last week against Utahs. It was really neck for neck. Should be a bit more comfortable this time round with that 7-0 start. Clark from deep. Couldn't, couldn't get that to go. Couldn't get that to go. And, yes, just clarifying, in regards to live stats there for the fans, they are the points, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks that we are getting here. However, yes. you can still chase live points there on Play HQ. 7-0 start here. Taken away there by the Titans. And really good to see Liam Smith back, you know, from injury as well too, JB. BJ Radcliffe signature couldn't get to go. Yeah. Yes, and as you, you were saying about Smitty there, uh, Ron. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah it is, it is. Has worked through some concerns over the last couple of years, but he is still as smooth as ever. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's like sometimes when you come back into, into a sport, you know, it's like riding a bike. It, re it really is. And, uh, you know, you never lose that touch. And it's good to see you know, Liam, you know, getting, getting back to a familiarisation of what he does best. Also as well, Samuel will be in the, is in the uh, uniform there yeah, as well, yeah, Ronnie. Yeah, he's suiting up tonight as well too. Great to see Sam back. And, of course, a big thank you to him for sponsoring the live stream last week. It's Jordan Peel 
knocks that one down. Bunana Peel gets that one to yeah. go. Yes, Yuli sponsoring last week, and Yuli coming off his third knee reconstruction. So this will be a really good test for him. Of course, a very capable player, both him and Josh, having played charges. Abs absolutely. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I'm looking on the floor, and everyone at one stage here has been on or in a charges squad. Yeah, pretty much. When you look at both lineups, except for probably Luke Moore and, and Jack Howlett, Everyone else, had, oh, but, and in Lewis Crennan, I'd say. Lockie McCarthy's been close as well, too. Everyone else has been, you know, within the Chargers squad throughout. 6.30 remaining here, first term. Daniel Reamers builders. As Griffiths, oh, goes the hesitation. Manages to flick the uh, old wristy you there. Red inside. Oh, Griffiths turn around, fade away. One leg, crooked leg, round the world in the net. Doesn't matter. Nice score. Uh, Harry loves that move, and... Uh, Certainly would have been teaching that to his 5-6 uh, team last weekend at the uh, primary school championships. Oh, well, well, dear. Yes, uh, he coach, coach Harry in coach mode and happy as Larry as well too as his boys did a good job over the weekend. Through sets of hands. Clark on the drive goes up, elevates and one. I'd be interested to, you know, I'd be interested to see with, with, with Noah here. You know, I feel like Noah's got the, the upper edge just over Xavier in regards to, you know... Um, it is neck and neck, though, Ronnie. As much as you, we, we, we've, they are twins, but they are genuinely neck and neck on the talent oh, pool. Oh, they, they certainly are, and I feel like as Noah violates first. Went um, a little too quick. Yeah. You know, I, I feel like, you know, we're, we're two in Noah's game, you know. You know, and we're, you know, what choices does he have going forward? I hear a lot of rumours about them potentially going to New Zealand, going back home and, and looking to play. Uh, and then I keep hearing about, you know, some rumours around the, the Chargers squad and, and whatnot. So it'd be interesting. it's an interesting time just to see what they do going forward. But right now, right now, they'd be happy playing in this competition and getting that physicality that they really need. Nine for our scoreline here. Five minutes gone. Now, second game of the evening. Swisher versus the Titans. Of course, I better give you your car keys back running before I walk out with them. I was going to say, thanks to Mitsubishi. Speaking of, we'll yes, get to them at halftime. We, we will, JB. Yule saves. Corner. Peel. Couldn't get the old banana split Ooh. there. Speaking of Yule, third time's a charm. No, it's not. Griffiths couldn't see him behind Yulee there. Save there. Stratzma. Pull up. Three. Flick of the wrist. No good. Running away to the corner as Yule saves that one there. Goes to Smith. Of course, one of the last times we saw Smith in a Chargers uniform was this famous uniform running the 2018 championship uniform yeah, by the yeah it's good to see those um, uniforms have been kept and preserved and and brought back out which is fantastic to see jb yeah, so well, nice light and dark mix here yes nine six our score line now continuing to tick away hargrave corner wants to go on the drive create hesitation Pass. thread down nice good read griffiths oh. deserved the point yule fights for it you need to be first to the ball with oh, oh that's a falcon jeez number one is Harry out? Yeah, Harry's oh, okay down there. Never had a concussion pass. <laughs> You're right, Harry? Just yep, he's giving us a thumbs up. Sensational. Excellent, Ronnie. <laughs> Jeez, we're talking live to the players too. Someone stop him. <laughs> God, strike so, me. Some new and improved broadcast, JB. Yes. That, yeah, I knew is one way. I don't know whether improves the word we'd use. The upside down Nike headband here for Josh Yule and the great man plugging away. Absolutely. Matthew Young. Bill he's Walton himself. Now, he's accidentally yeah. thrown a good pass there. Think he knows it too. Went to throw a prayer there. Yule probably needs to be careful with those excess passes. Speaking of Yule, there's Matt Young. I was going to say, did you play some NWBU as well too for Wynyard earlier this year as well too, JB? Yes, players still with reasonable fitness and a few of these boys are pretty keen footballers as well. So yes. it's not like the fitness levels are a worry. I don't know where Josh Yule was throwing that. Nearly paid off. Oh, Peely should get his own route. He does. Does, and that's a Falcon. That's a second that's Falcon. That's two. Jeez. I think we need the boys to keep an eye on the uh, no, Falcon stats here. No birds <laughs> indoors, please. <laughs> had two Falcons already. Hallett, Set, unbelievable. Hallett and Moore into the game. Smith goes to Peel, loses it, tipped away by Moore. Ferguson wants the spin into trouble. He goes, met with contact. Moore works hard on the glass. Yeah, no, good work by Luke. Just sticking with that and then picking up those scraps and able to get that layup to go in. So... Good job there by Luke, and gets his first points for the night. 11-6 scoreline here, three and a half to go. 
Sam Yule. Wants to thread down to... That's not Samuel, that's Sam Yule. Yes. It may very well be Samuel Yule. That's three from Peely. Yes, uh, yeah, good good knockdown by Peely after missing his first couple. So that will do his confidence a world of good. And, of course, just unfortunate to miss out on the state under 20 side, selected as a reserve. But, you know, he's just going to keep plugging away. Of course, we do have the Clark Twins there as well. Strachman yes, having made right. that gig. Fighting for the ball, it's going everywhere. Peel tearing up the floor like a man possessed. Has Young in support, Moore just cutting across. That'll be an easy call. Yes, yes, you, you, uh, you're spot on there, JV, with the Clark Twins, of course, uh, being named reserves as well. So, uh, substitutions here as it looks Crenna like. Crennan and McCarthy yeah. come in as Stratman and uh, Stewart head in. Yeah. Ferguson heads for a spell, as does the great man Hargrave. That will be the Falcon of the Yules out, as well as Liam Smith. Let's get some effects in. That could be dangerous. That could well be. Double screen there by Young, not used. And that'll be a late foul there on Moore. He's second in as many. Yeah. Anthony Stewart's just biting his lips there. Mm. Yeah, what does, Stewie, uh, what does Stewie do in this situation? You know, does he keep keep Luke on and, and trust him? Or, you know, does he bring him off? Obviously, they're going to trust him because Stewie has not moved one inch down there. Samuel has accidentally shuffled there. Yeah, Didn't agree. It just looked like he just moved the feet there. So uh, enough enough evidence to say, yep, that will be a travel. Griffiths now, guarded full court as well now. They'd know each other. Jeez, that's a cheeky little crossover right in front of the defender. <laughs> a lot going on here. Yeah. Double screen. Young has nearly accidentally taken the steal. If he'd have actually looked, he would have got that he one. Would have. Second poke away. Upstairs to Peel, gets the alley-oop, and we got a tie ball game, yeah. 11 apiece. Nice work by the... Uh, a uh, nice work by the Titans to work their way back into it after the, you know, the Swisher crew made a really good start here early on in this ball game. It's Andre 3000's made his way in. Yes. You've seen the great man here for a week. Young has support. Turn, pull up, alley oop. Nice play there. And one opportunity. Mr. McCarthy, thank you very much, he says. Just suckered them in. He'll go to the line for one. And all of a sudden, the Titans running. Yeah. They're in the lead. Absolutely. Lockie McCarthy just saying, hey, Ronnie, I'll do you one better by selling you a JJ's polo, and I'll go upstairs and finish off the alley -oop play. Good I was to in, see I was, in, I was in Intersport early in the week, and, and Lockie was able to serve me, and I got, a, I got myself a JJ's well, polo. I'm glad there. everyone's sponsoring, Ronnie. <laughs> a lot of ball bodies on the floor. We've got a slide. Now, what have we got here? Yeah. It, foul? Yeah, yeah. Foul. foul. Looks like Crennan's just pushed there. Forcing the contact. Matty Young gets up a practice shot. He's very happy with himself. Yes. The only man that I've ever known, Matt Young, Fabian Krizlovic reminds me of it too. Yeah. Blokes that genuinely just look sore when they're not. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're spot on there. Kriz always, Krizlovic is always running uh, tired and sore, and Young, he's always hopping around like he's got something wrong with him. Uh, there's always something with Youngy, that's for sure. Never a dull moment with the great man. 11-13. So Titans are actually out by two here over Swisher. Kick out pass. Stewart wanted that from the car park on McCarthy. Wanted the payback. Stratzma goes for it instead. And back iron. Didn't look too bad from here. Stratzma weaving through. Goes up against McCarthy. Nice floater. We are at 13 apiece. And a low scoring affair early again, Ronnie. We're down the floor. But I think it's been good, though. Yeah, Gladio. Titans work their That's way. It. Yeah, Titans work their way back nice into the game. And, and now we're now in a bit of a holding pattern, so to speak, here. Where both teams now defend, you know, really trying to find an edge defensively. You know, and now who can really try and open the gates here? 13 apiece, round 90 seconds left here. Young with a hesitation on the drive, goes off glass, putting it to the floor, very impressed with himself once again. Early stages of this particular contest. And it's just a poor execution on their inbounds pass there by the Swisher crew. They just need to do a much better job than that. Oh, Youngie with a heat check. Where's Xavier oh. Terzma? <laughs> Good, great. Look very it. happy with himself. That the, what, the, the, the strut on him going backwards, JB. I tell you what, no tickets to the show. They're all sold out. He's I, brought them himself. I was going to say. That'll be a reach by Clark and nearly a third Falcon. I tell you what, if he's not careful, I'll start. That, that strut just reminds me a little bit of, you know, good old Vince McVan's type. I never of, thought I wouldn't be doing that backwards. <laughs> no. Jeez. Yeah. Clark and Steele wants the drive, goes up strong himself and finishes the play. And just really good awareness and good effort by Noel Clark to really just read that and absolutely go to the basket aggressively. Forcing the defence there, the Titans. As Griffiths on the oh, step nice through. Move, Harry. Up with the left hand, couldn't get that to go. That'll be a Titan ball there, 39.3 to go. Matty Young just lumbering. 
you think there'd be something wrong? As you say, there's something wrong with him, but there's nothing wrong. No, there's not. Oh, no, look past McCarthy. We've got another Falcon. Can we please someone hold on to this basketball? Yes. Good grief. We are, I'm glad we aren't burdening the boys with that one, Ronnie, because that's, no. that's a stat we don't need. No, that's, that's right. We need yeah. a little counter. Four. Four. <laughs> I tell you what, we do the scoreboard, right? We might be able to do that at some point. <laughs> Random. Look, look here. Oh, I have what? a feeling after our irreverency this week, we will rein it in next week. <laughs> look out a new and improved broadcast. <laughs> Mate, I tell you what, depending on the folks, it may have to be as well. It could well be. 1321, 30.6, yeah, right, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Make that 1322. Yeah, it's just jumped. Just taken out. Just turn the turnovers by the Swisher crew. And again, another turnover. And this has just been one way, one way traffic in this last three to four minutes, JB. I know we don't have a canteen right now, but it looks like someone's brewing coffee with a steam coming out of Stewie's ears there on the bench. They break that press nicely, though. Compliments there. 13 seconds to go. Stewie needing the team to settle. They do. Game clock ahead by one. Stewart goes up. Couldn't get that to go. There's still time. Four, three. Clark. Is he going to pull up? He's not. But Griffiths is going to get a chance. Can't get that to go. Quarter time. 24 to 13. Titans by name and nature on the scoreboard. Ronnie lead by 11. It's a good first quarter. Uh, that, that last few minutes by, by the Titans was, was pretty much sensational. Um, good awareness, good, good offensive play, um, you know, really good job. Which team have I got here? Ah, oh, I've got the Titans, sensational. All right, here we go. So, look at and just looking at the spread of scorers. Peel with seven, Clark with six, Young with five, and then McCarthy with four, and, and Smith with two. Just a real good spread of scorers here. And I'll just quickly go down to... Um, uh, no, we don't have the uh, don't have the team one there. Okay. What's right. that? You mean Swisher? Uh, no, 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 not Swisher. No, the, that's um, only my, that's only this uh, only this uh, iPad uh, here. No, right? iPad's <laughs> only got that. Okay. So I'll uh, just quickly the field goal looks pretty good, um, just by what I'm seeing here. So really good job there by Titans. Like I say, that last five minutes just started to read what what the Swisher team were doing, and now Anthony Stewart is. You know, really imploring his troops to, to do better in this second quarter. Swisher with 13, with Stewart as the coach, as you mentioned. Harry Griffiths with seven. Four to Stratzma, two to Luke Moore. They are the only people to trouble the scoreboard there. Very interesting to see how this one's going to pan out. They are not winning the rebounding battle, I dare say. Ronnie Fowler up there, as we called. And only 13 points on the scoreboard, all but telling the story. Yeah, it is. And right right now, a lot of momentum for, ti for the Team Titans right now. So... Swisher have to make some adjustment. I have no doubt Anthony Stewart has implored his team to be a bit more um, you know, defensive-minded in this second quarter and fight their way back into this game. We'll see how it pans out here for Daniel Reamer's Builders. Great to have the yes. great man sponsoring us this week. We had Yule Electrical last week, and now we've got Dan Reamer's Builders right now. And I tell you what, with the bricks being laid by some of the some uh, particular teams early, Ronnie, a house or two has been built. BJ Radcliffe long two makes that. that. And it's vintage BJ Radcliffe right there. Time and time again, that corner knockdown shot has always been there for him, and you can see why. And do I think, he, I actually think he, I think he had a little bit of advice there to Stewie with a bit of a laugh and, I a, have no, and a giggle. I have no doubt that some of these players have got something, well, something, look, I something at Stewie. You and I are in the traps long enough, Ronnie. Yep. I think we know that there's I think we know some the, emotion. Yes, I think we know the inside uh, politics on this one, Jobo. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yes. Griffiths makes that one for his ninth point. Yes. Yeah, it's okay. key that we say allegedly. Uh, yes, allegedly, folks. Uh, good work by Harry Griffiths on the backdoor play there as well, too. Just really, again, using that, using his size well as Clark from deep. Around the world, no good. Stewart the rebound against Crennan. Trying to use his size, just gets checked off the hip there. Really easy. Crennan in that Matthew Mu championship yes. jersey. You know, Moo playing out west this year as well too, Joe Absolutely. Had a run with uh, South Sudan as well there in the World Cup. Yes, no, it was good to see. It's great to see their performance. Absolutely, it was. 15-26, our score line. Up 25 remaining here, second turn. As Old Ham Sandwich is up here annoying Boucher. Yes. Crowd filing in. Who do we have checking in up over the top there, Ronnie? I'm just keeping an eye on everyone's man, woman and child as they... Uh, 
uh, some of the you, some of the you family yes, are here. Yes, does look so. I can see brother Tom there as well too. That was who we were pu putting yep, out there. Uh, the, uh, their dad's here as well too. Simon Newell's here, so Brad Simmons is in as well. Yeah, Brad's checking out the action. Checking out the uh, son-in-law. Yes. Nice shot by Ferguson. I was going to say, Margin yep. now. The young lads down there as well too. Everyone tuning in. Good to see some live, active crowds here. Yes. For a Friday night, of course, only going to grow as this season goes along. Oh, Absolutely. Good to see, especially as we talk about it, Ronnie. You know the whole idea that these young men and these young women have got plenty to do. Yes, as Mr. Oldham, Oldham just comes to check yeah. in. Thank you. Uh, I hope I that pinch nerve I've got in my thumb. I appreciate that. I don't know if he, he's... He oh, let's hope he's not distracting the boys while they're doing their job. That's why I'm more worried about it up here. I think he'd be right. I think they're going to pass on the... the no, we won't get your beautiful face on TV. Absolutely not. <laughs> Gone dressed as one of those people that walk out the courthouse with the pixels running. Yes. As we go through here, and you can just see Chris checking the old numbers there. But as we were just saying before, Radcliffe. Ow! Heavy contested. Hargrave from the clouds. Big contested mark there. Genuine genuine SFL 2's Premier there as well. Absolutely. Good nice dive. hustle there. Ferguson wanted the points. Got it. Hargrave keeps the feet. Deserves it too. Nice work there, yeah. though, Will Ferguson. That, and, that, and that's the hustle and intention that you need right now. And uh, and right now, Titans getting a bit of their own medicine here Found from what they McCarthy. did from what they did earlier in the first in the first quarter uh, to, to now the uh, Swisher crew responding in kind. As we talk about with this league, Ronnie. Obviously, players playing their senior roster right through to June. Charges going through August, very early September at best. You know, for a lot of these guys not playing 22s, this is the other than state league, sort of the only action if they're not playing state league, certainly wouldn't be doing anything else. As Jordy Hargrave, for some reason, I don't really know what's going on anyway. No, I don't know. Anyway, no. moving, <laughs> moving you, on quickly. You think, you think I do yeah, some silly then, things as a coach moving, with, with mind games moving, and whatnot? Moving on. Yes, JB, thank you. <laughs> um, for a lot of these guys, Ronnie, this is the opportunity to really prove himself. Stay conditioned heading into summer and, of course, then get ready for that big pre-season as one or two from the line. Absolutely. And, of course, again, we just don't know the future of the men's pro program at the moment. It, certainly within the coaching ranks, of course, you know, Anthony Stewart with some big decisions in the next few weeks at least and trying to get some word out of him of what he's going to do. Radcliffe now takes away margin at six. I will come back to that point because I'm not finished with that one yet, Joe. Oh, it didn't sound like it. That'll give me a chance to rest the headset. <laughs> Seven minutes to go in the second. McCarthy kicks back. Sorry, that was Crennan. McCarthy's uh, just off screen. There he goes, chasing it there. Yep. Hargrave now. Clark on the takeaway and that'll be a reach. Made a little too much contact there as uh, Joshua makes the sub, as does Liam Smith, as McCarthy and Crennan both head out. So just quickly, to just to finish off this Chargers point, you know, it's just going to be interesting to see the lay of the land over the next couple of months. It's important that, yes, all these young, all these young, young players keep themselves in good condition, as we mentioned, and just be ready for anything. We just don't know what the changes will be. But once they know, they have to be ready for whatever comes next. Absolutely. Play on the fly, that's for sure. 2026, Ferguson to make it three points. Couldn't get that to go. Runs to the corner. Hargrave saves it. Griffiths wanting to settle as well. Goes over. Wanted the cut there from Hargrave. Didn't get it. Yule waits it perfectly to Clark. Wants to go himself. Young, corner, three, death. Taxes rattles at home. Well, he certainly hasn't lost a touch, JB, that's for sure. Yeah, he's just winding back the clock, as one would say. And, um, one yeah. way to describe it. Yeah. Yeah, good to see him uh, knocking down. Griffiths, three. Around the world, no good. Caught back on. Ferguson battling. Yule saves that. Kicks to Smith. Back to Yule. Watch out for the Falcons, they say. Keeps that dribble. Back Absolutely. to Smith. Otherwise, Hockamani will run wild. Absolutely. As Radcliffe just gets the easy cut there. Anthony Stewart back on the whiteboard. Yeah, making and actually making a note, not a play there. I noticed, Ronnie. I think, yeah, I think Stewie's just trying to work out what he can do better defensively in regards to how do we stop that, you know, that feeder cut through. Margin at eleven. Hargrave gets a second opportunity. Read that one just a little better. Margin at nine. But down the floor pretty quickly as well. Well, he gets a friendly roll there as well. So yeah, I think he'd take that one backwards and forwards here. Back to eleven. Again. Kick pass. Ferguson wants to go up there on Smith. Can't do it. Ferguson bumped by Radcliffe. That one had gone out of bounds. Stratzman went to save that. 
I don't know what Stratham's arguing the point for. The ball's out of so bounds. The ball's out of bounds. Yeah, Peely coming in for Noel Clark. 33-22. More Howlett in. Ferguson uh, Griffiths out there, Joe. Thank you, Daniel Reamers builders. Yes. Daniel just doing wonders for us this week uh, for this Friday night's uh, sponsorship stream. Great to have him on board. We do thank you for all his support and efforts here. Of course, without our sponsors, Ronnie, this league and this game, this broadcast certainly wouldn't be going ahead. So Absolutely. Big, Massive thank you. Big thank you there. Stewart, Hargrave up and about with the Moulay. Yes. Threads down to Moore, who was on the back cut there, 22-33. Stratzma, open air, squares up, jumper, nails it, nothing but net. Nice shot by Geordie Stratzma there, just really more nicely composed on that one and knock that one with ease. Margin eight. So we clear the baggage out of the way. Oh. Just the laptop bag running. Oh, right. Bulk nutrients there, shirt for uh, Geordie Walker as he makes himself unknown. Yes. Yule has a mismatch down low, goes for it, just too big. Couldn't get that to go. They look to square that up. Stewart, nice pass. Howlett, hesitant, has options, uses Hargrave. He's wanting to slow. No look pass, corner. That one's no good from Moore. Fighting for it. Howlett saves that. Smith goes into the road cones. And we are scrappy right now. That bin leader's seen better days. It certainly has. Show B, a man of the people. Yeah, just here. saying hello to Dre. Oh, yes. He heads out. As Matt Young was a little too keen after probably just giving a bit of a shove, I think. <laughs> he was very impressed with himself there, yes. Matt. As always. Absolutely. Friday night here at the Warrain Basketball Stadium. You are tuning in to the 2023 Hobart Chargers Summer League broadcast and game night sponsor brought to you by Daniel Reamers Builders. Stewie just asking for a different set on that play. Obviously, Jordy had the cut and, and didn't. As you now wanting to use his size again, does, gets inside, double pump. Get out of here by Strathman, just used that length a bit too much. Going up against Smith, who was just late to the position. As, um... Jeremy Hill asking the question, yes, which is... Jeremy just asking kindly. Asking so, kindly? It's one way of describing... Wouldn't well, have known Jeremy to ask the question. Well, yes, of course, we've, we've, we have at times comment about how Jeremy There's should address the referees. Bit of, a, bit of a psychological battle on the coaching yeah. stakes here between Stewart and Hill. Yes. I don't think Stewie um, would be happy to a degree. No. No. No, and I think a lot of it... Be, this is where we talk about how this league works, Ronnie. Younger players, bigger bodies, more experience, getting seasoned, getting conditioned. Because even though, you know, you might get to the NBL 1. Oh, geez, Hargrave, prayer not answered. Transition taken away. Yule needs to save that does. Nearly carried it. And he's got a deadly Mustaka going as well. November underway. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, it is too. Yes, even, I've been growing mine since September. Yes, even uh, referee Jordan Cooper, with, uh, he's starting his uh, more Jeez. later score too. Yes, the old Mustaka. Mm. That's going to be an no, off armour. Flop no, warning no, too. No, flop warning. Yeah. He's sore as well. He's, he's gone down on the yeah. tailbone. Flop warning. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's all happening here. And I, I mentioned last week as well too, Joe, and you'll be aware of this, of course, in the NBA. They're really cracking down on the uh, acting and the flopping Thank situation. God. As well too. It's been, it's been, it was an interesting kind of topic I brought up myself. Uh, for out last week, and I'd be interested to hear your thoughts, seeing that you're a very NBA kind of uh, encyclopedia. Well, as Jordan Strassman gets I think, it too. I think common sense in any sport, Ronnie, you need to take away. Now, I understand the professionalism and the sportsman of that as Peel goes to the basket. Healy with a reverse. You give, it, give him the old banana split. Now, yeah. I mean, I understand the professionalism and the sportsmanship and the gamesmanship that does yep. come with drawing a charge, with selling a charge, but... There's a difference between selling a charge as Yuli needs to settle that one, does. Oh, he rattles yeah, that one. Jeez, it. that wasn't safe. Oh, jeez. Oh, there was no brick and water to uh, that one there. You, Boys you, have looked up to the commentary. Can't I was going to say, Yul Mania would have went off right oh, there. Oh, my God. I don't know whether there's room. <laughs> We've got two stories on this place. I don't know whether there's room. But I'm sure. I'm hoping those boys know about Yul Mania. They'd have to at this point. <laughs> But no, just in regards to the flopping running, I think it's a yeah. good call. It's the, yeah, old, it the whole idea is to make legitimate contact, 
especially now when the oh, game... Youngie. Nice finish there by Youngie. She's getting our comments in quickie. I think we have to agree, Ronnie. The game is very yes. much less physical from a contact standpoint than it's ever been. Yes, it so has So players been. are yes. not going to go out of their way to want to really make egregious amounts of contact. Mm. I like that it's cleaning it up. Yep, no, no. Very well said, JB. Hargrave oh, gets it? in. Uh, it, oh, it, went, it went in. I so think it's a if, if it missed, it went in, I'd say yes to goaltending on that. Excellent piece of detective work there by Ronnie. <laughs> Sharp Ten. eyes from up here. <laughs> Jeez, that's. Don't burden us with that responsibility. No. <laughs> Please don't. Big enough responsibilities here. We're not holding them very well either. <laughs> no. Ten points of margin. Good give and go idea by Moore. Stewart needs to save it. Deflected, luckily. You could just hear Anthony Stewart asking questions, yeah. not getting answers. Mm. Stewart looked to be stripped off the knee. And I think that, of course, that's the Stewie read of the game, of course. And, you know, I think so. A lot of coaches, including myself, kind of, we just mutter to ourselves a few things here and there. So, no, no, no surprises there from Stewie, I, I guess, with, with that kind of emotion that he's, uh, he's showing right now. Absolutely. Of course, the Daniel Reamers building logo ticking over with the Chargers logo. Absolutely. Catching Stewart, howl at three, bang. And yeah. that's something he can do when he's on. Yeah, you know, why, why, he's a streaky shooter, show, but as I described him last week. And once he gets going and gets an eye in, as Peely gets an eye in on this one, couldn't get it to go, it, it's, um, you know, he can really be a, a, a kind of a dominant kind of force playing his role, Joe. Hargrave splits the defence, rolls over off the post. Lovely move there, Geordie Hargrave. And the margin's back to five here, so all of a sudden, this track meet might not necessarily be paying off. It's McCarthy, Crennan, nearly loses it. Yule wants a screen. Young rolls inside. Too much size. Late coverage. Has the easy look. Too big, too strong there. Matty Young. And I tell you what. <laughs> I just thought Young, he was trying something different there on that play there, JB. Yeah, it usually doesn't go below the foul line. No. So a good effort there by the great man. Uh, overplays defensively there. Bill Walton eat your heart out. Yeah. Yes. I uh, trust Bill's not tuning in. No, Don't think he not. even knows who we are. Uh, good. <laughs> Crennan upstairs, nice there by Stratzma, but you can just see the return play there all of a sudden from the Titans. Oh, Griffiths? No. No good there. So a nice little rally there by Swisher at half time here. Margin is at 5, 41 36. And Ronnie, even though it feels the Titans have controlled this game, Swisher just did enough to put some doubt in the put put the doubt in the mind, I'd say. Yeah, I think that was a better fight back from the from the Swisher crew, and you know they certainly did a really good job as far as um, just making sure that margin didn't go any higher than it needed to. Much broader scoring range as well. Stratzman now leading yeah, with eleven, it. Griffiths at ten, Hargrave with eight, three to Howlett, two each to Moore and Ferguson. Of course, looking across the board as well, still a little bit of work to do on the glass. Hargrave chipping away at that there overall. But it's just the spread of scoring, and I think the fact that they are getting that extra ball movement and getting a bit of work yeah. going there is just creating that little bit of extra. It's very hard to guard five on five than it is if you're just running a one- or two-man game. Absolutely, and then when we look at, you know, um, Titans here, you know, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven players already on, on the scoring board, and Youngy leading the way with, with 12 points, and, you know, a couple steals there as well too, JB. And then Peely with, with nine and a couple of offensive rebounds, which are crucial uh, in any basketball game. Noel Clark with eight at the moment as well. And then just trying to have a, have a bit of a look through here on some of the other scores. BJ Radcliffe, of course, just being that handy commodity there with a couple of baskets as well. So everyone doing their bit. And uh, it's going to be a really interesting second half. And we'll see how it all pans out as I get that back to the boys there. Big now, effort. Big effort on the stats, by the way, fellas. Thank yeah, you for no, that tonight. It's yeah, been awesome. Yeah. Hopefully these boys come back every week, JB. We'd love to see them here. So um, fantastic initiative by Josh Yule and the crew here as well, too. Meanwhile, as we just, come to... Just pointing out the uh, crowd there, Ronnie, and the members in the crowd. Of course, we can yeah. see... I'm just trying to see who you're trying to allude to, JB. I was about to go into the NBL one stuff, but that, you can do go for that. Yeah. So, so of course, as we as we've been mentioning, and as you've probably seen on our on our charges social media, it has been announced by NBL one that Mr. Mishimoto's are back in town. And Someone naming, wants a car. And our naming rights sponsor for the entire league. Great to have the Mr. Bishy challenge back. I Will we him. get the ma 
Magna back here. We'll get the Magna from the stadium. Oh, I hope, I'll tell you what, we, 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 we'll be making phone calls to Dean Anglin, I think, I think over the next few uh, months. Anyone, I'll, I'll tell you what, if anyone has a brand spanking new retro Magna, they've got better things to do than lower it from the ceiling. Absolutely. So great to have Mitsubishi Motors back in town. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be an exciting NBL1 South season, along with the rest of the conferences as well, too. Tipping off in March, by the way, JB. Very good to hear. Not far away. In fact, no. only four or five months away. Jeez, that will come quick, JB. From the start of the competition here. As we're back underway, second half, it will come quickly. As uh, it is Mr. Christie. Oh, Will Christie in the house. And, uh, Great to see you. And Claire Murray, what looks with? Yeah. Yep, saying good day there. Yeah, absolutely. Claire I'm, Murray here. Yes. Of course, he's, uh, Claire's uh, dad, James, was here for the coaches' clinic earlier. Yes. As Hargrave misses that one, and you're off to the races. Melbourne Cup next week as well too, JB. Well, like you'd forget that. <laughs> that reminds Because me. it is a very good day of socialising, Ronald. Absolutely it is. As we get back on track to this one here as Will, Will Christie. Yes, you are on broadcast. We've got you. Thank you. Why is Will trying to put us off, JB? Let alone we put ourselves off. I don't know. We're too easily distracted. Yes. As Howlett loses the handle, taken away by Smith no, here. Good, good hands by Smith. Stagnant start. And I don't really know what Hargrave was doing there. Left his feet. Any contact from that point was always going to be a yeah, foul. foul. Made, that, made that pretty easy for himself, I must say. And that will send Smith to the line for two. I think Smith will just take it like with, with any kind of free charity. I'll, I'll take a couple of free throws here. So as he does, as he goes, first one down. So knocks that one down nicely. <coughs> And goes 2-2 two two there from the free throw line that occasion. So, what's that? That's a seven-point lead there, JB. So, again, can Titans just hold a nice buffer here as we go into the third? We'll see how it goes. 43-36, our margin. But, uh, Ronnie, as we know, this third quarter, the first one ticked away very quickly. We yes. may, depending on who's controlling this game, will certainly depend the speed at which it elapses. Good. Hargrave works his way inside. Couldn't get over... As body hits the floor. He actually took his own teammate out no, there, Hargrave oh, and Stratzman. They're both away. Peel yeah, goes upstairs and Hulkamania himself gets another basket. Yeah, it's good. yeah, yeah. you're doing a good job on the boards there. The largest arms in Tasmania. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, he, his arms are pretty much near Hulk Hogan's, I reckon. That is a man that is looking after himself indeed. Absolutely. And there he is on cue, taking away on the drive. Wanted to get Ferguson out of it. Couldn't quite do it. Went to thread the needle. Uh, Couldn't get through the cotton through the eye there. Howlett. Hargrave pulls up. Three. And he's cleaning glass with that one. Out to Clark who goes up. And uh, a little bit of a tricky one there. Just gets that one. Just a, just a mini dunk there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah just a mini squeaky one there, JB. Uh, makes it a little bit. <laughs> Thank you very nice much. Nice basket there by Clark. <laughs> Corner for Ferguson, who's still trying to plug away. Smith just too big there, letting the bodies bounce off him. Peel letting run, thread the needle. Radcliffe, no look. Clark, baseline, threads it. Corner, Peel, three. Oh, he built it up to nothing. I need a breath after that, Ronnie. I'll oh, tell you what. Oh, Ricky, you Stratchman now. There's Nash and Vanderkamp are back in this one. Yes, good to see them spectating tonight. It's Hargrave. Ferguson. <coughs> Ronnie doing everything but mute his microphone. Sorry. <laughs> use them. Don't use, don't our we, use a dump button a bit more. Oh, Clark, <laughs> fancy. And Peel just yeah, gets Peel, that one away. Peel just uh, cleaning up the scraps there, Joe. Anthony Stewart has not gone for a time out here. He's just no. letting this play. And as we mentioned before, it's like the, sometimes you let him try to work it out or do you go for that timeout buzzer? It's Clark just lets it rattle. Fights hard for the ball. Griffiths takes it away. Margin at 13 now. Above the break three there by Stratzmar. Gets that one to go. Margin yeah, at nice, 10. Nice shot by Jordy. Good Again, good knock down. He just need, I think he just sees, he needs to see more of the basketball, JB, and really needs to go through his hands. Goes on the drive. Does Clark high off arc? He's trying to prove a point, the great man. He certainly is. Like I say, I feel, again, he's so neck and neck with the twins at the moment. You know, it's... It's really good to see that both of them are really stepping up their games. Howlett just no, takes no the... No, call. Okay. No, it slid nicely there. Actually read it perfectly. Radcliffe, feed, corner, peel, three. Can someone make this build up worth it at some stage, please? It's Clark. Back to Radcliffe. Five. Just over, under six minutes remaining. Oh, I was always going to take it. Couldn't bank that one in. 
over the top there, Ferguson. Howlett on the thread, and Ferguson reading well. Just to slow this one down, some yeah, tired bodies. I was, was going to say, I feel like one, one of the coaches need to either call a timeout or teams need to slow it down, JB. Howlett, three rattles home. So that's got it back to nine now. So... But again, both teams just need to sell it down here. I think a track meet is never the, the, the best of options at times. Get through some structure or get into some on-balls. Yule wants to try three. No, goes the hesitation drive. Corner, Radcliffe, two. Couldn't count that. Yule, body's literally bouncing off him as Peel couldn't get the split on that one. Stratzman was hesitant. Ferguson goes hard. Oh, and down hard. And did that go? It did. It did. Points are good. The, the boys on the stats with a good pair of saw. eyes. Yeah, he's down hard. Time, Time out. out taken, and we're going to check that. He is very we'll sore. Just re we'll bring the camera back to the middle. We will, and Ronnie, because we have the beauty, um, the unfortunate beauty of it, Yes. We can see the replay yes. on the YouTube, and he's just, I think the big thing there, just looking at it, goes up on the drive, rides the contact, just loses up in the air, coming down pretty flat in the wrist there, yep. having the impact on that one. 51-44, though. So to the line will go Ferguson, who's been a real tone setter in slowing this down. You can yeah. just see right now as Anthony Stewart's actually got everyone... Some mild jovialness down here on the bench. Um, yeah. Just interesting. Stewie actually not... He's dropped the... Uh, well, well, that was an accident, I was going to say. I thought Dro that was the real thing then for a yeah, second. Yeah, no, genuine accident there. As uh, Holly Nash is over there breaking up the social decorum over in the corner. Yes. 505 remaining. Thanks to Daniel Remus Builders. You are tuning yes. in to the 2023 Hobart Chargers Summer League Round 2. And if you are just tuning in, Utah's getting the win over Gladiators by 15. Ferguson just f not favouring that shoulder there. And it's going to be interesting. He is very yeah. sore. And Ronnie, of course, to be concerned as well, will be a key part of that Hobart State League lineup tomorrow. Well, is meant to be a key part of that Hobart State League lineup. Again, we hope he's okay. And again, most of these guys are playing for Hobart tomorrow in the in the State League competition, of course, which you will see live by the BTS uh, TV YouTube channel as well too, JB. But yeah, right now, you know, day before, you know, State League and where, you know, the Hobart team's really going to push some of these other teams as well too in the competition. Bernie, of course, outright favourites in the men. But, um, you know, certainly, you know, Stewie just can't have anyone going down the day before. Or even 12 hours before they play. That'd be, well, I'll tell you mm. what, Ronnie, that's one way to look at it. Because mm. they, they I, I believe they are literally 10 o'clock tomorrow. Yes. On the, on, I'm on our court or on the other court? Less than 14 minutes. It's <laughs> your foul. It'll go the line for two. 14. Oh. It is only 8.41, Ronnie. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> you said less than 14 minutes. I'm like, jeez. Oh, we have 14 hours. Soz. <laughs> yeah. I've just said Soz on a broadcast. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Lord. Sam, you were at the line here for two, and as we, as you mentioned, JB, of course, Yuli, uh, uh, you know, we, we, we all call him Yuli. Um, you know, good to see him back after, you know, some time away from the game, and of course, yeah. he's had some injuries and, and, and whatnot as well, too. So, good to see him back out here. Uh, he, you know, a very good basketball or two coming through the ranks uh, when he was coming through juniors. Well, particularly and, and did, and did that knee last year, Ronnie, at the crucial point of that season yeah. for the Grenadiers. Mm. And he, he, you know, he certainly was enjoying his basketball as well too, which is great to see. I know he's had some frustrations throughout, the, throughout, throughout the years as well too. But it was just really good to see him back out on the floor and playing the game that he that he, that he got that he loved when he was playing for juniors. Margin at six. On You're cue. for three. Oh, thank you. Nails it. Great shot by Sammy and really good find as well too. That just opened up nicely. Oh, excuse me. Open up nicely there for um, the Titans. Get out of here. Just throw him back the clock on the rejection. <laughs> had, a, had a lot. Clark and goes Clark up, gets that to go as well. <laughs> Yuli had a flex there. I don't know oh, why. Yogi had some advice as well too, say, hey, I've still got it, folks. Well, that man's only a couple of years older than me. I'm at 27. He's near the big 3-0 if he's not already there. So he might have it, but I don't know how long he has it for. As Clark, he's gone to try and avoid the brick wall. I was going to say, purely with a uh, ambitious pass, one would mention. Now, Anthony Stewart's gone into the track bands. When does Stewie ever wear trackies? He's gone in. I've never seen a uniform change for a coach on the bench. Jesus. It must be cold. 
I know it's been a windy day today here in Hobart, it's not but <laughs> beautiful inside, Ronnie. It is. The uh, officers there in Collins Street. Thank you. It's Griffiths there on the drive. Need we need we mention anyone's retirement fund? Thank you, Ronald. <laughs> At least we're showing some spirit. Young <laughs> bricks that. 57-46. And again, we're back into this track meet with no real result. Yeah, I just don't know what team, what the teams are trying to do here. As our photographer nearly gets a close-up shot. Lucky he was bending over to get the camera. Yes. 48-57. Now, I am aware that all these teams don't train. I think it's just, uh, this roster is, is, is um, show up and, and play. Genuine social. Um, well, not genuine social, so, but genuine, but, like, whatever you get, what you see is what you get. Yeah, but I think there needs to be, you know, I'm sure both coaches will address this at three-quarter time, in re just in regards to, hey, let's just slow it down. We know how we, know what, we, know how we play. We get it through sets of hands. And let's try and make sure that... We run so we just don't go up and down all the time. I just don't think that's ideal at this level. Unless you unless you've really got elite shooters out on the floor there, I just don't think it's necessary. And they they're still learning the game. So it's like just, just take your time on a few possessions. Shot by Peel is no good. Tip by Stratzman and more on the outlet. Has Stewart support. Wants to go himself. Late pass idea was there. Just didn't quite make it. As Howlett, oh, turn, spin inside, knocked the jumper down. He couldn't. Just don't know what Peel was trying to do on that play there. It's just, again, just slow it down as Moore gets a two there. But it's just becoming a bit of a, tr a scrappy yeah, track meet again. It, it is. I just don't, this, this is not the way that it should be played right now. I certainly don't think this was the intent. No. You know, you, you, again, everyone getting caught out on that. Getting caught out on that, that short corner down there, JB. It's just been a bit of a bit of an ongoing issue for the last two weeks now. It's Crennan and McCarthy are back in. Stratzma. Goes a hesitation, tries to find a gap, does. Howl at dunk a spot, can he use it? Does. That's much better. Just good patience there. Really good find by Geordie Strasford there to see Jack Howler on that play. So Execution and ball movement. Yeah, and, and again, that's what we just got to get back to in this ball game right now. Uh, just a, probably not the, not the right timing on that play, JB. I think, again, right, in, right in ten. The right intentions on what they're trying to do, just not in sync on that one. Minute 27 remaining here, third term. Jeremy Hill up off the bench. Anthony Stewart, I'll tell you what, I hope he's got the lid on the pen there because otherwise he will have dried that out by now. Yep. Hasn't moved much. No. 59-52. Turning, fading, the great McCarthy. Yeah, that don't, will count. Yeah, will count. Yes. Easy score there. 62-61. Stewart tries to find a gap. Hargrave goes up strong himself, finds a gap. Nice finish there, Geordie Hargrave. And funny enough, this game's at seven points now. Like, it, and it doesn't feel like a seven-point no, game. No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. But for some reason, it's just, yeah, somehow making a game of it. Oh, showtime from Samuel. It was Peely showtime oh, there. Man. Unfortunately, yeah. wasn't renewed for a second season. And again, still stagnant. Sam Yule down low. Kick out pass to Peely, who's saved it. So is Youngie. Yeah, well, he just saved, saved him from being axed again. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> tell you what, the script writers, they're not too impressed with the story no, they're trying to tell in this particular no, season. 20 no. seconds to go here in the third term. No, no wonder all the actors are Anthony on strike. St Anthony Stewart, well, my God, the, <laughs> the directors and the producers will be soon if this one keeps oh, going. 10 geez. seconds. Stratzma fouled by Crennan. Fairly easy call there. Yeah, I think that's pretty obvious there, Joe. Well, he was a little, t little ambitious, went in optimistically yeah. and came out misty optically. Yes, 8.4 to go. 
Oh, I don't think... No, no, just a normal foul. I just... Yeah. If he bear hunts, you bear <laughs> I think they've asked the question. Yeah. They're asking the question of him while he's there. Stratzma catching shoot out and it stepped out of bounds. And again, this has been a common theme over the last two weeks. Players just, again, not understanding where they are on the floor, Joe B. It is a coach killer. Peel needs to get up a prayer. McCarthy does. Can't get it to go, though. Three-quarter time, 61-54 for Dan Reamer's builders. Titans lead this one by seven. Numbers coming in, Ronnie. Oh, yes, yes. No, the boys, are, the boys are right onto it as well, too. Thank you very much. Swisher boys were plugging away there in that third term once again. Stratzma with 14. Griffiths with 12. Hargrave with 10. We're seeing some numbers there on the boards there for Hargrave as well. Some ball movement around as well. But uh, the Swisher boys just plugging away, but just still feeling stagnant in the approach, Ronnie. Yeah, and, but I, and I feel like, you know, with the Titans, they're, they're doing a good job with their, you know, they've got three players in double figures right now. And and just seeing here, Noel Clark leaning away with 16, you know, Peely with 13 there and Youngie with, with, with 12. So, you know, and then this, I just feel like they're shooting the ball at a better clip. I know some of these stats here with just with the field goal range looks a little bit, out of like Youngie's doing all right, five and nine there, two of six. That's that's not bad numbers from Youngie. Um, but then you look at Peely and that six of, six of sixteen, and then one of nine from the three, from the land of three. So, you know, it's not too bad. But as we as we as we mentioned, when it's a seven point ball game, it doesn't feel like a seven point ball game. You know, just the way this guy, the style play and the track meet and whatnot. Even Geordie Walker agrees with us up here in the commentary <laughs> booth as well. He's been everywhere. Yeah, He's it was gone definitely... from Anthony Stewart's bench to up here now in the broadcast booth. It was definitely a nod of agreement. <laughs> I can inform you with that much there. Hey, <laughs> right. playing tomorrow, Jordan. Yes. Very good. That's cool. all we needed. Yes, state league, of course, happening tomorrow. What's that? Got all oh, the right. business. Got all the misses or the business out of the way. Hopefully, misses don't want to get the. Tell you what, you're in for a long weekend if you've got the business out of the way tonight. You're in for a long weekend, my friend. Absolutely, state league course this weekend. You can see all the live action by the Beaches TV YouTube channel. Be sure to tune in. As yes, we'll see you tomorrow, Geordie, Of course, no doubt. All the action happening at the Kingra Sports Centre. But for now, we are at the Bahrain Basketball Stadium here as Luke Moore fires one up for three. Oh, and oh! McCarthy last touched that one. And certainly wouldn't get the change there from Intersport. 61-54. Will Christie now on the phone line? I don't exactly know what he's doing. Oh, well, he's... The, 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 the phones are not open down here, JB. <laughs> yeah, Unless no. he's talking to his, da his father. Probably. Always needing a ride of some sort. Yes. Hargrove spins inside, Ooh. was fouled and won. You got a hard, <laughs> no hard knock <laughs> there. did get a hard one there. Sure. It's a, a big forearm. <laughs> Goodness, sheesh! I was going to say that—that's—that's that, that's a clubbing blow, Ronnie. My word, that's a clubbing blow. I was going to say, did did Josh Yule take a page out of Hulkamania right there? Don't know there. Yeah. I, I, was say, I think you only just looked up to us there for a second and said, "What the hell was going on?" I don't know. That was a, you're very loud, Ronnie. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're courtside court, court tomorrow, Joe, as that free throw goes down. Yeah, God bless everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the dozens and dozens that will be watching live. Yes, the, uh, yes, the, yes, dozens and dozens of people. Absolutely. Turn around there, working up and under is Smith. Calls the foul, catches the body and one opportunity. And Smitty just showing that he's, uh, you know, he's really got it, Joe B. Still, still got it, actually. Young you know, Smitty, so, yes, 22, young Smitty. I believe, Ronald. Yes. Well, Connor, yeah. 22, 23. Connor would be, um, well, how old's Connor now? 19? 20? It'd have to be 20. I'm pretty sure Liam's 23. Yeah. I was going to say. He was that? Yeah, yeah, pretty sure yeah. he was. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he gets, a, he gets a three to go down, though. So, really good to see. Ball through sets of hands here. Hobart drive. Stewart was blocked there by Peel. Yule catches that one there. Wanting to go once again. Sets over there, corner through McCarthy to Crennan, who pulls up short corner, nails it. And great, uh, great work by Crennan. Great to see our photographer there as well too. Just uh, <laughs> sensational. Getting, getting some action shots of us live in commentary, JB. If we can get some eight by tens, we'll sign them five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, dear, uh, always uh, good fun. Great to see um, MJB Photography. Yes, I've got it down pat. Beautiful. MJB Photography in the house as well tonight and giving us our, our game shots as well too. So Very good. I look forward to uh, getting on the website at some stage next week and ha having a look.
So... I don't know what they're doing down on the bench. The I YMCA no apparently was not it. Oh, right. <laughs> Nine points to margin. It's Titans look to slow this down again. Crenham wanted to go on the drive. Needs some assistance. Goes back to Smith, who's posting up. Everyone's crowding the lane. Doesn't matter. McCarthy, three. Front nine, no good. Ooh. Hargrave comes over the top and steals the board. <laughs> it's very rare we get any action shots in the uh, broadcast booth, right? No, I know. It's... Uh, it, it... You know, it's always nice, nice when no, that I'm does not, I'm happen. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining either. I wouldn't mind updating my profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I probably need to too. That was last Movember. <laughs> yes, well, last Movember. Yes, I was going to say, mine's been at the World Cup last year. Look okay, out. We need the medic. He's patting himself on the back again. <laughs> McCarthy, three. Not afraid to put it up. No. Hargrave, not afraid to crash the rebounds. Oh, no, no. I don't mind that from Lockie Doe. And you see, he good Gotta hustle there. Really good save. And now... You know, he's just got to reward himself with that with that shot. You know, he just needs to be a little bit more consistent with it as well. So, now this is probably, again, good patience here and just trying to find a, a good look as Peely throws that one up. Genuinely throws it up. Yeah. Smith with another rebound. Just, just a, run a yeah, set. Yeah. I, I feel like he, he just, he, if he's going to go... There we know, go now. Hard at the rim, up and under you go. Well done, Mr. Peel. Yeah, so good, good take by Peel. That's much better. You know, like I say, you just don't want to fall in love with that three-point shot. It's like, you know, so you, you just can't just go into individual play. Peely going upstairs. Takes another one as well. Margin now to 13. We're starting to get back into that conversion there. Now, Will Ferguson has put himself out and taken the shoes off, so we won't see him yeah, again tonight. No. That, that's put Hobart down a rotation. Yeah, it certainly has. Griffiths going up strong. Oh, gets his own rebound. Second Shabby. opportunity there. Nice one by Griffiths. Slowing down his peel. He's having a field day today. Kick out pass deflected by Stratzma. Save not made. Moore looks to check back into the game, as does Radcliffe, as does Clark. Crennan and yeah and you can just hear there straight away from Samuel first thing he said to Crennan was shoot the ball yeah if you if you if you open take it well if there's one thing with that Grenadiers team oh, pretty absolutely. much unless, unless you absolutely cannot shoot the basketball oh, pass. shoot the basketball but good that's work. as you mentioned there nice pass there by McCarthy yeah no good work there yeah, just real good vision and good drive and, and dish on that play Margin at 13. Stratzma on the drive. Radcliffe just filling a gap enough there. Moore pulls up. Jumper in the corner is wet. And that's a nice shot by Luke Moore. And, and Luke can be that knockdown shooter um, when he gets going as well too. So really good to see Luke you just find that shot and just let it come to him and take care of business. 62-72. Radcliffe keeps the pivot. Goes the drive. Goes to thread the needle. Foot, foot violation. Titans remain in possession. Jumper won't count. 602 remaining here, fourth quarter. Yeah, so right now, you just want a good sideline uh, set here from, from uh, Titans here. And just again, be patient in what you do. You've got 14 seconds. There's plenty of time to really just execute either a good on ball here or find a good look. Smith, hesitation goes round. Stratzma rides the hip. Gets a second opportunity, goes up strong and gets that to go as well. Really good work by Smitty. Just, again, like just coming back into this game nicely and, you know, proving the goods. It's 12 points are starting to feel a lot greater, Ronnie. I know we said seven points before didn't feel too bad. It's the most exciting roar we've heard from the bench all game. For nothing. Yes, basically. Zilch, zero, nada. A duck. Share yeah, well. Jeez. Yeah, I'm just using a cricket term there. Yep, that was with a D, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Hargrave saving that one there. <laughs> Trying to feed through and create space. Puts up a prayer. Answered. Wow, he's splitting it at the contact there. <laughs> Hit that he's stupid. Can't believe it. He's, oh, jeez. Stewie, something yeah. out of nothing, mate. You've got to be impressed. I was going to say, yeah, Jordy Hargrave did make something out of nothing on that play. And, well, well deserved. Back to 10 our margin. Can he make it nine? That's... Incredible. Makes that too. Yeah, so we're now at nine now. So again, these next couple of minutes, actually really important <laughs> if you're a team well, Swisher. Sudden it is again. Swisher versus the Titans right now. The second game of our double header. Of course, it is the um, Women's League. Is oh. Bang! Corner! McCarthy. The great McCarthy. 
for those who have a reference to terrible Australian movies in the 70s. Absolutely, and some of the best customer service skills you'll ever see, JB. As Yule goes up and rattles at home too. So now this game is just again just got back out to that 13 points. So if they can keep this double district what, buffer. What count am I? I can't count. As no wonder I can. JB having some issues here. <laughs> just wasn't. It's not just here. <laughs> 78 65. Stratzmer inside Hargrave. Bodied there. Yule just trying to create some space again. Leaning on Hargrave. As Howlett gets inside, contact there will go to the line. Easy call there. He's got to know he's committed the foul. Righty, -o. now, Ronnie, as yep. we mentioned there, we do obviously have our men's league underway here. But of course, Monday night, our women's league starting as well. Yes. As I do just get the confirmation there. We'll just, and we'll just uh, we'll get some confirmation over either tonight or... We'll know, or what, we'll know what, in regards to coverage of that one, we'll certainly know more heading closer to it. Abs absolutely. Of course, the Monday women's competition, it will be Real Fit versus the Sweaty Betties at 6.30 and then Swissy <laughs> versus Utahs at 8 o'clock. Some of the most unique names we'll ever hear, JB. 65-78. None of two at the line. The dairy beefs are very edible at the moment. Yes. No Clark from deep. Oh, rattles at home. Right, we're back on the scoreboard again. Now it's at 16 again, so. Yeah. I, I, I think. I, are, you, are you now going to call it, Ronnie? I think so. Okay. Yeah. I just can't. Um, unless we get a quick run here by, by the switcher mob, then. Yeah, no, this is, I feel this is done. Hargrave three back iron, no good. More battling. Tipped but out of bounds by Clark. And there's a level of disgruntlement amongst these fellas. I don't really know why. No, I'm not sure either, Chobo. There's more, needs to get it in, does to Griffiths. Daintly. Footwork there to get to that corner was very nice there, Harry Griffiths. I was going to say, Harry taking a page out of Jack McBay's book there, really. Yeah, hop, skip, and a jump. Yeah. Ferguson now, as we mentioned, on he's in that purple hoodie. Sh shoes are changed. Yeah, I'd say they've got to save them for tomorrow, JB. There's, there's bigger things to deal with. Oh, I'll tell you what, a bit of a dump down there. And Hargrave wanting his teammates to run. As Stratzma goes up, draws contact. Has to play through it. It's Radcliffe to Yule, back to Radcliffe. Two hands there by Stratzmer. He's just trying to create. I think he's just a little bit frustrated, so he just took that frustration out on BJ right there. Holding up there. Clark gets the defender in the air, wants to create space. Give and go to Young, who wants to go. Oh! To oh! 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 Oh, boy. oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, dearie, dear. Oh, good grief. Oh, dear. Is Even it... the boys don't believe it here. It was if the space... Oh, oh, oh. Harry Griffiths leading, giving us he another wanted... Instagram he... moment. He wanted a response. Jesus Christ. Luke Moore was fouled. No, no, no whistle. Even Youngie's put his hand... Have we gone into junk time? Yeah, I don't know. Youngie's put his hand up to say that he definitely fouled him. We've had a missed dunk. We had the slowest round the back you've ever seen. And BJ converts at three. Three. Jeez. Youngie with the apology there to Maury, too. He did foul him to try and get him on the line. Oh, jeez. 8667. Daniel Ramirez building will be loving this right now, JB. I'll tell you what, as Howlett now goes up and under, a nice finish for the young fella there. Jeez, that's the most action packed night we've had. We've still got State League to go. I oh, know. More that, trying. That's scary. As Yule goes up around the world, no good. Clark battling for the rebound. Seems that everyone's just packing it up right now. 6986. Hargrave's going to try a little harder. Trying to work through. Second opportunity. Was fouled yeah, there. We'll go to the line. Yeah, I think that one's you can't pretty not obvious. Call, you can't not call that one. Oh, I swear someone will be getting on the uh, screen record a little bit later and trying to clip that one up for us, JB. I don't have... I haven't had a Won't chance be to... Yeah, so I was going to say... I'm going home to bed. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to clear any of the SD cards. So I've been trying to clear one throughout the night. And um, as um, I could actually hear... Oh, yeah, that's why we've muted it. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, Jeez. I don't have the SD card in, so anyone uh, wanting to clip this one up, need more, than, more uh, checks in the mail. <laughs> we, we didn't put it. No. No, the, the, all the SD cards are full right now. I just have, uh, it, We have busy schedules, JB. I had, had not had a chance to really yeah, you look, you play right. around the SD cards this week. Yeah, you're right. That's fair. So, That's fair. all right. People, not, not angry, we'll, just we'll, disappointed. <laughs> we'll, we'll just scream recording off the clips. Oh, my God. <laughs>
We've reached a new level. <laughs> we have. BJ Radcliffe with a ball fake to the corner. I don't know how that's paid off. A fumbled through for the assist. Once again, Matty Young reasonably impressed with himself. Yes. Yeah, Young, he seems to be having a night out here. Well, he's had the slowest round the back I've ever seen in my yes. life. As Harry, Griffiths. Oh, I was going to say. Uh, gets the one again. I'm always amazed when Harry gets upstairs because it is so rare to see. Well, it's, it, it, it's, it's sneaky. It is. It's just, again, Harry just being that silent assassin and just going to work and just when you least expect it, oh, it goes down, you know, kind of thing. Nice, Ronnie. Yeah. Everyone in the stadium <laughs> just looked to wonder what's going on. You know, so, you know, if anyone wants to respect the broadcast, you'll get my point. For the viewers in the um, stands. Now, what are we doing here? Was there a foul? Yes, it was. Uh, let's see. Who's that on? I don't know. I'll slow down uh, really quick. It was on Crown. Now, what was going on there? Oh, jeez. First, first, first main, then the whistle. We're going to have to get closed captioning because no one can hear after Ronnie's just screaming <laughs> the house down at nothing. Griffiths from the car park, raining Bang. it in. Margin at 12 with a minute 20 to go. And I don't actually know. Yeah, I think Radcliffe wanted Crennan to uh, cut, but he had to cut between two players. I think yeah. it would have been ambitious at best. Yule to Young. Turn, fade, shoot. No good. Hargrave taken away. Radcliffe with a smile. As Howlett yeah. gets a rebound there over Crennan. Margin at 10. They couldn't. No, nah, they just slung it yeah. down here, I think. Ooh. Putting it up, though. Oh! Isolation. Ooh. Too much... Uh, too much sugar on the cake there. Howlett. Oh! I think there's a bit of... There was a bit of contact there, so... Just a little yeah. bit. Ooh, ah, just a little bit. Mm. So we'll go the line for two here. As uh, Josh Yule gets the uh, shoes off there. Yeah. And of course, a big shout out for our live stats with the fellas today. You've done yeah. a fantastic job. They certainly have. Of course, these, are, these, are, these young lads go to uh, Bayview, uh, Bayview Secondary College down at Rokeby. And uh, I've done a bit of TA work out there before, JB. Uh, great school down there. Uh, good community. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, good, to, good to see these boys involved. Back iron two or two. More dairy beefs here for the team. Thread down there to Moore, who uses the ball yeah, fake and gets, gets the score. Two. Margin now at eight. Oh, McCarthy. Crennan. Oh, sorry, that's Crennan. My, my bad. McCarthy shooting from the bench would be impressive. I reckon he's got that range, Jover. He may have that range, but having the ability, having the range and the ability is another thing. Now, the score is 90, not 8, 8, 9, 0. There <laughs> oh, we go. No. That's better. Targrove still fighting through, still fighting. Crennan with a rebound. And that is all this one wrote. They're going to pass this down. Griffiths is just going to hold it. They are not going to score, are they? They're not. No, no. Young's going to hold it out. Yeah. Throws it over. Stratzman with a chance from three-quarter court. Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's nailed it for fun. Are you serious? I've seen two in two broadcasts from 60 feet. Let's get the replay up on that one, JB. Yes. Let's see how good your camera hey. work is there, Ronnie. Yeah, we got that. We will confirm. He's Sam, just... you were just asking, did we get that on tape? Yes, nailed we did. it. Absolutely nailed it, Ronnie. See, I was going to say, sensational camera work right there. Yeah, I wonder who did that. <laughs> He's passed that off. I tell you what, give Matty Young would be happy with that assist. That score was good. Final score is 83 to 90, ladies and gentlemen. And the highlight of the game was all but gone. Big shot there by Jordy Strathmore. He'll clip that one up. Very happy with himself. So, Ronnie, final scores, 90-83. Titans lead by win by seven for Swisher, though. As we saw, Jordy Strathmore nailing that one there from about 65 feet, 70 feet. He had 17 points on the board there to go with six rebounds. 21 there to Harry Griffiths, 18 to Jordy Hargrave. He had 13 rebounds as well, but it was too little too late. Just too big of an effort there. Titans getting out to that massive lead. Really holding on, playing some high-quality uptone basketball, and no doubt the stat sheet reflects that as well. Yeah, absolutely. Jordan Peele, top scoring here for the uh, Titans with 19 points and uh, seven rebounds there as well too, JB. A uh, couple steals there uh, and three assists. Noah Clark with 18, chipping in nicely and two assists. 
And what do we got there? Three rebounds. Youngie, 14 points. Nice cameo appearance by Youngie. Um, and again, pretty good stats. Six of 11 from the field, two of six. And a couple steals, a couple blocks, and four assists as well too. So the veteran getting it done, he'll be very happy with, with that as well too. And BJ Radcliffe tip, chipped in with nine. Josh Yule chipped in with eight. And then uh, Smitty there with, with seven. McCarthy there with seven. And then six. So everyone actually scored um, except for, well, Gasset's not there tonight. So I think they've switched him. It's, oh, they switched him over, I'm pretty sure. Yes, they may have done the yeah, old so, flip to do. So everyone on the team tonight scored and just a really good team game in the end. And uh, Jordy Hargrave just... Well, love hard to the camera. <laughs> love Appreciate it. that. Yep, yep, no worries. So, no, really good job there by the Titans. And, again, great great team game. And uh, But, again, the game just felt odd for our stages, JB, where... It was Seven points. It was, was one of those was, ones where yeah. a small margin felt like a big margin. Yeah. Yeah, it did. Holly and Nash has just thrown the bag down there. Oh, I hope she's okay. recovering worry, did, there. I think we might have just got that on camera and shot, JB. <laughs> Funny enough. But yeah, yeah, yeah hang on. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, not. I'm sure if I can. Poor old Holly. She's p picked up the bag. That's the main thing. We there got, we go. We saw you <laughs> drop that one, Holly. Well done. There we go. The boys are zooming. Just watched it drop down. That's right. The there girls go. go through. Final scores there, Ronnie. Yep. 83 to 90. That will do us here for round two of the Hobart Chargers Summer League here. Yep. Big thank you to Daniel Remus Builders. Yes, uh, good. thanks to Dan and the team there. Sensational to, uh, for them to jump on board uh, this week. So we're always happy to have new sponsors every week, JB. So all returning sponsors as well too. So no, fantastic to see. Great to have them on board. On behalf of Ronnie Riggs, I'm Justin Bryan. Oh, there goes Who's the lights. Who's turning the lights out early? We Jeez. Tell you what, Ronnie, that means we better pack up. Yep, we Thank better. you very much for tuning in, Chargers TV. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next week.